Well, it's a very warm welcome to the Mahindra Rajapaksa International Stadium. It is a gorgeous evening. Ayubowan and a wanna come to everybody else in Sri Lanka and welcome to whatever time zone you're in. And it is going to be an absolutely magnificent game. And let's take a look at uh, what the two teams are. The Chapter Stallion, they're batting first after they were put into bat. Well, very encouraging to see Vias Kant in that side and many other changes. Chapter Stallions being a little bit uh, flexible with their team changes because they are right on, right on top. They're in excellent form. Colombo Kings lying at number three. They have made a few changes too. In fact, they have made two changes. So it is going to be a, a good game. And with uh, Colombo Kings determined to try and uh, turn tables on the Jaffna Stallion. Well, let's not forget that uh, Jaffna Stallion, though they do have an unblemished record, they've struggled a little bit every time they're batted first. And chasing has been their forte. It's interesting to see how they will cope with the uh, Colombo Kings bowling and the two umpires just going through the formalities of uh, sanit sanitizing themselves. And we are almost ready to start this important game. A big game between two star-studded sides. We've got Mickey Arthur and uh, Darren Ganga with me. Good evening, gentlemen. And uh, let's start with Darren. What do you reckon? Good contest on our hands. And uh, I say that because uh, Colombo Kings went down in the last match against uh, Dambula Viking. Had a run chase and fell for 147. They were bowled out. So not surprisingly, they've opted for Daniel Bell Drummond as one of the two changes here. Four changes for the Jaffna Stallions too. And those four changes, you expected that because they've won all four matches previously, Jaffna Stallions, and it's an opportunity to give the young...
BW shout. We are completely going down the leg side. Doesn't get used as much as the ones in the center. So you would expect it to be good. So it's in one extreme. And the good thing about this ground, it's a large ground, so you can still maintain the 70 yards. Another single. So three runs of the first over. It's three without loss. for the young Vyas Khan who hails from the northern province leg spinner and has played under 19 cricket for Sri Lanka and he's going to be the big hope coming from the northern province and he will be a model a role model that most youngsters would want to emulate which is perfect that's what uh, tournaments like this should try and do Ushmanta Chamira I was making the point uh, in the pre-show about this uh, Jaffna Stallion squad and the makeup of the players. The Jaffna region, so I'm sure Vyaskant, his selection will be an inspiration for the others who have not had a chance as yet. Well, interesting, if you, if you look at the ownerships of these uh, franchises. Punched, but on the bounce to the man at mid-off. Out of the five owners, the Jaffna is owned by a Sri Lankan uh, ownership. It's, it's, it's all Sri Lankans. And they hail from, the, most of them hail from the northern province. I know it's a mix of people from the northern province and rest of Sri Lanka, but they're Sri Lankans. So obviously they'll be very interested in looking at that area, the north and the east, and trying to develop, whilst the others are not from this country. So that affiliation may not be there understandably yeah we talk about Sri Lankans they're, they're wonderful owners they really are and, and it's so good to see them giving back to their to their region we talk about Sri Lankans we talk about just one Chimera very excited about him he I thought in the last game in the previous game I thought was his best performance so far he found his length he hit a hard length he looks rhythmical when he's running in and, and, and that's really great for the Sri Lankan cricket team going forward to have him back just provides us with a with a with a real cog there as we see as we see his figures that two for 27 against Dambulla for me was by far his best performance it's been a slow start for the stallions that's that's the young man making his debut big moment proud moment for him and his family and he's become a star overnight Johnson Charles chancing his arms and it's gone for six he's a powerful striker I'll tell you in his zone he'll punish you yeah he sort of he picked to that length up just just slightly back Johnson Charles clearing his front leg and hitting that powerfully away over, over uh, the, the mid wicket mid on area really good shot that typifies the way Johnson Charles plays early you miss your length he's going to punish you 
Colombo Kings would have done their research and they'll know that he's a strong player square off the wicket. You can't bowl short. He's not a big driver off the cricket ball. Taken, taken at cover. Dushman Dashamira strikes with a change up. And that is very clever bowling indeed. And the Stallion, Chapter Stallion, have lost their first wicket. How often do we see a strength becoming a weakness and players getting out in their strong areas? That's where he scores most of his runs. This time he doesn't get the placement right. Maybe an indication that the pitch is quite slow, but he hasn't made a great impact in this innings. He's gone for seven, it's 10 for one. Banuka is a new batsman, batting at number three. He carries the extra responsibility of keeping today. Johnson Charles with the batsman to be dismissed. And uh, Minot Banuka. It's a fledgling career for him, 48 games. Average just under 20. Strike rate will improve. He's got a best of 70. And uh, it was an excellent catch at point. Lovely change up, wasn't it, uh, Mickey? Yeah, he bowled that well. The, the, the good thing for me was he went for six to ball before and he, he, he maintained his length. Finds the edge and that will run away to the boundary. The spoils the over, 11 and a wicket. It's 14 for one. for one two overs completed Matthews hey. finds a bit of late away movement Mabishka Fernando coming forward the probing line around that just outside the off stump another look at that wicket again Johnson Charles again opening opening the foot playing it off to mid on very very good catch Daniel Bell Drummond making his debut for the Colombo Kings. I was just having a look here at Angelo Matthews' field. We've got a deep square leg and we've got a guy at deep extra cover. Means his line's going to be very, very straight. And he's maintained that he's maintained that line since he started bowling. Just shows a little bit of experience. He knows his plan. He knows what he wants to do. last over also in that corridor of uncertainty fortuitous boundary my 11 circle Lanka Premier League my 11 circle an apt where you can make your fantasy cricket team and play with real champion cricketers all you need to do is download the app from www.my11circle.com and start playing on the app by making your team with the players who you think will offer you maximum points 
in the matches. I'm sure you're thinking about players already for this match. Andrew Russell will be right up there. You might even name him as captain in your fantasy team. Not if Mickey Arthur is selecting it. He'll have him. <laughs> That's Mickey Arthur's pick. That's a single, but it's not easy. And, and your second pick, I'm sure, would be Kusal Mendes. <laughs> no, no, not at all. I just pick guys that can win games for Sri Lanka. That's all. And Manor Banuka is one of those. He's he, he's grown. I'm really looking forward to see our oh, Tassara Ferreira, Andre Russell. We've got all the big guns on show tonight. We really have. It's a mouthwatering contest. To get back to Manor Banuka, I'm really looking forward to seeing him keep wicket as well. Very good behind the stumps. Hmm. He's been getting that ball to move away from the right hand. That ball came back to the left hand. Angelo Matthews getting a bit on nip. And he's bowling the right length. We've spoken about this on commentary. How important it is for bowlers to find that length, that eight meter length on the pitch. It just challenges the batsman. The ability to transfer weight forward and back. When you start muddling the mind of a, of a batsman, that's when you can create opportunities for a wicket. Well, they get a single. I think the non-striker was very lucky that Matthews didn't have a finger on that ball. I'm sure he was outside the crease. It's 16 for one. Lanka Premier League 2020 Official webcasting partner Content I Asia Lanka Premier League 2020 Together. Official webcasting partner, Content I Asia. Another wonderful cricketer for Sri Lanka bowling at the moment, Isura Donna, just fresh out of the RPL. He he kind of leads our, our one-day white ball attack. Man, that's got an amazing amount of variations as you watch Angela Matthews. Well, he didn't get a touch on that, but he got back quick. He got back quick. The only problem was he'd have to pull the stump out because both bails were off. But so good watching Isuru Dana go through his different variations. He knows exactly when and what is required for every situation. He's a wonderful professional. His, his class has been seen, Isuru Dana, and, and that class would have been enhanced by the fact that He's gone into an IPL, gained a lot of experience. That's at last delivery. Just a perfect length. I also think if you could work on developing an extra yard of pace, that will enhance his uh, potency as a bowler. Has the ability to swing the ball. Oh, Avishka. It's gone all the way. He's so strong in that area. Anything onto the pads, he just makes maximum use of it. That's a huge six. He, he back of the hand, slow ball onto the pads of Vishka, and he's kind of swept that. He picked that slow ball, got himself into position early, and executed very, very well. That is a strength of Vishka Fernandos. I just want to remind everyone that this guy is only 22 years of age. I've been totally impressed 
with Vishka Fernando and the manner in which he's gone about uh, scoring runs for his team at the top of the innings. Very easy on the eyes in terms of his technique. Commits himself when he goes on the attack. Had an unbeaten 92 in the first game, then the second half century in the last one. So that consistency at the top of the innings, he doesn't really look like he's hurried at all when he's facing the fast bowlers. So he can judge length quite quickly. An important asset to have as an opening batsman. And he's got it. It's a very tender age. He's had a brilliant uh, LPL so far. My 11 circle LPL. He's been consistent. He's looked very good chasing. That was one question I posed to him when he was man of the match. Asked him what was the secret. And he said he likes to aim a target now this is these are the dimensions it's a 70 yard boundary and that's been consistently maintained though the pitchers have been moved as you know we're playing on the next on the extreme pitch so the pitchers will be constantly moved to make sure that the quality is retained good fielding good fielding it's 24 for one Twenty-four for one, four overs completed. Charles, the only batsman out. So, Tushman the Chamir is back. Matthews did have a brief spell, two over spell. Has swung Chamira to the opposite end. Good work at short fine leg. He was looking to go over Midon. It was pitched up. Abhishek loves that long on area. Yeah. That was the last ball, the last over. Good intensity in this contest already. Colombo Kings, they look switched on. They know that it's important for them to secure a win here. They want to be leaving it for too late in the tournament to qualify. We've been talking a lot about uh, bowlers and the power play. And what we've seen in the tournament tonight, Colombo Kings, their bowlers, they've been excellent in terms of the lengths that they've bowled. There is a little bit of lateral movement, but you still got to pitch the ball in the right areas. Have a look at this. Majority of the deliveries in that length region, that green band, six to eight meters. We often speak about this. Colombo Kings, very well done. Yeah, it is, and, and and I think I think from what we've seen through 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 the competition, certainly that length has been where the seam bowlers have got their most lateral movement, and they've been hardest to play from. Yeah, that traffic had Jaffna, but it's actually Colombo Kings and their bowlers collectively what they've achieved. As a coach, Mikiata, you take that any day, especially with a little bit of movement. Just let that soak in. 63% of deliveries in that green band. Kushal Gibbs will be proud. He'll be very happy with that. And, and, and as a coach, all you're asking from your bowler is to find the length that's going to hit the top of off stump. Find that length quickly and then hammer that length and if a batsman hits you from that length there's nothing you can do as a bowler it's when you go searching that that becomes a problem 
to Sarah Perra. He's been good in bowling that length as well. Usman Shinwari, who's not playing for the Jaffna Stalin, also good. And it's an area of the game that we've seen improve from the first game to match number 11. Used his variation well there, just Mancha Chimera. What a lot, he bowled the, the bouncer at 143 the ball before. And then this one, he's rolled his fingers over. Very well thought out. Constructing an over is so important. The key for him now, because it's been such a good over, is to exit this over properly. He's got two balls. He doesn't want to go chasing the over. He just wants to land his ball in the right area, which is the length area, as you've highlighted, Darren. Only a single, so he's done well there. So just two runs off the over. And just getting back to the toss. I understand what Angelo Matthews meant there. He wasn't sure how well this surface would play. He wasn't sure what a good score would be. So he that's why he just said he would rather bowl. And so feel he thinks the due factor will be significant. So allowing his bowlers to bowl when conditions supposedly a bit drier. Last ball of the over. Needs to finish strong. Just two runs so far. Just a single. Very well bowled by Chamira. Five overs completed. It's 27 for one. Good game this one interesting start five overs gone 27 for one at this stage as a look at uh, the projected scores need to step on the gas a little bit this uh, power play situation finishes in one over that's a very good shot that is beautifully played that was creamed four runs to start the over is is a really good start This pitch is offering a lot to the ballers. And if you ball a full toss like this, what do you expect as a ball? Got the right treatment. And it was my 11 circle champion shot. Yeah, I think some of the ball has been really good up until now. We've got to make sure they change their pace on the surface. There's no doubt it's on the slower side. There's no doubt it's just gripping a little bit. It does help, of course, if it uh, bowl, if it does bounce a little bit. Full tosses are going to get uh, dispatched quite comfortably. Yeah, good straight in. Abhishek Fernando, an 80 yesterday, 92 not out previously. Starts slow. He knows his game. He knows he can catch up. And that's why Minot Banuka needs to make sure that the pressure doesn't build and that scoreboard keeps moving. There's a change of pace, just working it around for one, trying to rotate the strike if you can't do much more than that. Don't forget to uh, go to my11circle.com and you can download that app. You can play with the champions. You can select your side, of course. Now it's a little bit challenging today. There's different players. There's six different changes in the teams today, four different players for the Stallions, but you can have some fun and uh, there you go. Play with the champions. I wonder if he's on it now, Shaab Malik. No, he's a champion, don't worry about that. He will play a key role today. Over the top. That is nicely played, and that is uh, a wonderful stroke. That really is a beautiful stroke for six. That was in his zone. Looked like he was waiting for that blend. The moment he spotted that, he played that stroke with all the confidence in the world. He looks a different player from yesterday. After scoring a 50, he's gained a lot of confidence. 
His demeanor at the crease has changed. Oozing with confidence now. Avishka. He's starting afresh, not trying to continue from where he left off yesterday. <laughs> Taking his time, facing a few, and now he's starting to play his shots. But the Jaffna Stallions have not really dominated the power play overs. The highest they made was 51, but other than that, 27 for 4, 40 for 4. And today they're 39 for 1 with one ball remaining. It's through the middle overs that they really have dominated. Batting first, they've gone on to score 185 and 218. But given the conditions, I think it's not a bad start. Easing into the job. The average in the power plays up until now has been 41 for 2. 39 for 1 it is. Yeah, that's the end of the power play. Umpire Kirti Bandara gives us a signal. He's standing at the Tanamal Villa Inn. At the far end, Surya Vava end, is Ravindra Vimalatsiri. Ruchira Palya Guru is the third umpire. Palya Guru Gay. I corrected myself before I get a call from him. Match referee, Wendell LeBroy. Koshio now. So he tries to get some revolutions on the ball. to that ball. He also doesn't mess around with the pace. He tries to uh, just scoot them through a little bit as well, particularly early in the over. Ah! I think that's outside the line of off stump. It's running away. Two leg buys and you're right, I think he is probably was yeah they asked for it the call is that it hit the back leg very fast indeed 97 k's you saw it run away towards the boundary line you know banuka down on one knee trying to Go over mid wicket. Hello, Guruga, the uh, uh, TV umpire is going to be adjudicating this. No problem with the front foot. Let's have a look and see where the connection is. Straight away, it's the it's the hip, but he's on that uh, knee. I think it's outside the line of off stump. However, bowler and keeper are up in unison. It probably would have gone on to hit the stumps, but. If the impact is outside the line of off stump, he shouldn't be given out. No heartbeat. So nothing on ultra edge at all. You'll see a bit of a, a blip as it goes past and hits that uh, back leg. But the umpire right now is just making sure it doesn't hit the willow. Let's have a look. Outside the line of off stump. Yep. And Minot Banuk also knows what he's doing. He's batting outside the line of off stump because Tarindu Kaushal is going wide at the crease and angling it into the left hander. Did you notice where the wicket keeper was? He should have gone and calmed the baller down. Mate, this is outside the off stump. Don't waste the review. Yeah, he was use it. He was leaping like a salmon. 
He's had a difficult time and it's good to see PhD Kaushal back played test cricket for yes. Sri Lanka and his action was questioned. So it's been a battle. So he must be really eager to get into the game too. He's intense. Have a look at the start of the run up. Just making sure his field is exactly right. Starts a bit like a, a lawn bowler might. the blade just uh, bringing a sweep into play on the offside 99 run partnership yesterday between Minot Banuka and Davish Fernando the action it seems like he uh, first asked for the permission of the batman should I yeah if the batsman is not ready he has to stop ask once again <laughs> when he was Initially introduced to test cricket, you should turn the ball a mile. Like Nithaya Muralidharan. I like the way he tries to put so much action on the delivery. I really do, and I, I remember those days. We used to turn it uh, a long way. Halfway through the over, half his first, three from it so far. The run rate has been checked. He just mentioned he used to spin the ball a lot. What happened now? But yes, he has remodeled the action. Yep, he was called out of cricket for a long time. I did mention it's good to see him back. He's worked very, very hard. Good to see. One, Full one, toss. One. Just the single brings Abisca Fernando back on strike. That single, by the way, from Abisca Fernando takes him to the highest scorer so far in the uh, Lenka Premier League. Was that wide of Hazy, very close to that return crease. So it's a difficult angle. Oh, well done, well done. It's nicely bowled. That is a really good first over. Singles galore. Six from it, 45 for one. Just a quick look at the uh, Manhattan graph, the yellow building. Oh, that's nicely played. That is terrific. Nice and fine. That's the important thing about that shot. Yes, it was a full toss. But he still had to put it away nice and fine. Well, the line helped the batsman to execute that stroke. It was wide of the off stump and straight away, Chandimal ran to the leg spinner, Kai Zamath, that you don't have to get that much of flight. You don't have to bowl outside the off stump. You have to concentrate on every delivery. 50 up. Good start for Jack Nastalins. They'd like to start moving now. He tried to, he couldn't retain the shape though. Two men back on the leg side. Good field placings from Angelo Matthews for Case Ahmed. One of our sponsors on board as well. Getting nice and cold in that fridge. Of course, you will know that uh, it does give you wings, and that's what uh, they need this ball to do at the moment. There we go. That's got wings, I think, but has it flown far yeah. enough? No, it hasn't. Wicket has been taken. Case Ahmed is into the attack and he's picked up a wicket straight away. That's the luxury of 
having a leg spinner in your lineup. They might get a bit of tap. But what they can bring for you is wickets. A dangerous batsman has been removed. Bit of turn. It's a shot that Avishka Fernando plays really well. The turn caused him to slice it and lose that timing. Oh, yes. Avishka Fernando, 26 he's made. Jaffna Stallions are 51 for two. दूध रू अफसा दो सौ पच्चीस मिली लीटर टेट्रा पैक में दस्तियाब है Prayer has done it twice. This Fernando's done it once. So the top order haven't got going, and here it's an opportunity now for Shaw Malik. He's got plenty of overs left in this innings. Extremely experienced, over 400 games. But he's someone now who can control things out there for the Jaffa Stallions. Tassara Pereira will be happy that he wasn't required in the last game, and other guys chipped in and did the business and got them home. Someone's going to have to uh, do something special again tonight by the looks of it. Oh, yeah, sure, man, it's over to you. He's been awfully quiet in this Lanka yeah. Premier League. He's out there in the middle. Yeah, just sliced it a wee bit, bit of turn. That was enough to do the job for Avishka Fernando. East around the corner, just the single. That's impressive stuff from Case Ahmed. First up, picked up wicket. That's what he's meant to do. 53 for two. Do the deal. इसीलिए तो बचाए थे वैसे। इसीलिए तो हम कहते हैं मोल सुप्रीम अर्थक्विक रेजिस्टेंस स्टील बार घर छोटा बड़ा नहीं घर महफूज होता है स्टार सिक्स वन फोर हैश मिलाओ और सत्तर रुपए में जैज महान बचत ऑफर लगाओ जैज दुनिया को बता दो तबानाई से भरपूर मजेदार दूध रू अफसा दो सौ पच्चीस मिली लीटर टेट्रा पैक में दस्तियाब है 6.6 is the run rate at the moment. Ball, ball, PSG! Ball, ball! Vinod Banuka has to give Shoaib Malik a little bit of time to settle in. You don't want two new batsmen in. Runs are not easy to come by. Come on, lad, come on! What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Wickets have gone down and this one's a big one. Great catch from Warrior and so confident right underneath it. 
judging it to perfection. It's hard, he had to move straight to him. Come on, be it. Smiles there from uh, the youngster. Vice President Sri Lanka Cricket Domestic, Ravin Vikramaratna, also the tournament director of the Lanka Premier League. Yeah, but he's nice and pleased with the way things are going. That's nice and straight. That might be four. No, well fielded. Nicely stopped. Got desperate dive. End result is just a couple. Shoaib Malik is someone you really do have to admire. He's played so much cricket. And you did mention that he's had a quiet tournament. And even today, after playing yesterday, he was in the nets. Straight after the warm-ups, he was dripping so much work he'd done. And that's the determination. And even at this age, he's pushing so hard. There's an outside edge. Fine. Yep. Outfielders on the quick side again. So that's a boundary. My 11 circle champion shot. We were mentioning about Shoaib Malik's commitment. See, if you respect the game, the game is going to respect you back. Such a good man to have in your team. So many youngsters. Yeah. Stallions. Lots of boys from the north and east being included so they can get an experience and interact with these players. And when they see these type of things from senior pros, it just rubs off. Today, great day for an 18-year-old from Jaffna Central. Vijay Kant, Vyas Kant, a leg break bowler. Turns 19 tomorrow. It'll be really good to see how he goes. And these are the opportunities that uh, you need. Yeah, it's a huge opportunity for these youngsters to rub shoulders with the senior players, see what they do, which has enabled them to stay at international level for a longer period of time. And I think today there's a, an opportunity to show the bench strength as well. Oh! Playing a mess. That's what uh, these tournaments are about also, these franchises. You've got to make sure you've got good bench strength so that you can just give some players a little bit of a breather, extra bounce. And they got four games in the last five days. That's not easy. So to be able to rotate give the senior bowlers a rest and the others to take the responsibility that would be great for their development too yeah the stallions have uh, been out there quite a bit worked on the onside there's thoughts of two will they come back for the second oh they will direct hit might have been interesting nope i think it would have been okay that's beautifully run in the end it's 10 runs from it that's a good over for the jaffna stallion six three for two the 30 year old look at him run well he'll need a breather so does everyone here's the strategic timeout Har meal pe single deal ye to trouble hai ab kya trouble hai food panda pe sab double hai are phir se single double hai munna ab tak single ho oh chacha double hai फूड पैंडा डबल डील घर का खाना मंगवाओ या रेस्टोरेंट से खाओ अभी ऐप डाउनलोड करो और डबल डील पाओ पूरी की पूरी रकम फॉरन से पहले पहुंच जाती है इसीलिए मैं घर पैसे सिर्फ एल एक्सप्रेस सर्विस से भेजता हूं और एल एक्सप्रेस प्लस वन टर्म डिपॉजिट से बेहतरीन मुनाफा भी एल बैंक आपके दिल में हमारा अकाउंट चले अब मैच देखते हैं Just for men for hair and beard by of the natural looking color sirf 5 minute mein i base international isliye to bachaye the paise isliye to hum kehte hain mogal supreme earthquake resistant steel bar ghar chhota bada nahi ghar mehfooz hota hai hogi budget ab sabki star 614 hash mila aur sasa rupaye mein jazz mahana bachat offer laga jazz duniya ko bata do Do the deal. Just for men for hair and beard. Buy of the natural looking color. Sit five minute me. I base international. Fire.
लो सूख गए था अब कोई नहीं निकाल सकता जो कोई नहीं कर सकता वही तो चैंपियन करता है नया बेहतर सर्फ एक्सल इसकी स्टेन लिफ्टर टेक्नोलॉजी कपड़ों की तय में जाके सख्त सूखे दाग भी खींच निकाले सर्फ एक्सल दागो का चैंपियन सर्फ का दस अब दे दस फीसद ज्यादा पाउडर तोनाई से भरपूर मजेदार दूध रू अफसा दो सौ पच्चीस मिली लीटर टेट्रा पैक में दस्तियाब है We've seen so far from Colombo Kings has been really good. Nine overs gone, 63 for two, but 10 off that last over. I wonder if that's just broken the shackles for the Jaffna Stallions. They got a step on it. Bowled him through the gate. That is terrific. Case Ahmed has picked up another one. Completely misread it. It wasn't a leg spinner. It wasn't a gokli. It was a slider. And Trey Malik looked to angle the bat. He was looking to place the ball towards backward point, left a huge gap, and that was more than enough for the baller to strike. Two and two for the leg spinner. He's jubilant. So is the captain. Outstanding. 78 kilometers per hour. That delivery. Shoy Malik deceived. Gone for eight of five balls. The Japanese Stallions are 63 for three. इसीलिए तो बचाए थे पैसे <laughs> इसीलिए तो हम कहते हैं मोल सुप्रीम अर्थ क्विक रेजिस्टेंट स्टील बार घर छोटा बड़ा नहीं घर महफूज होता है जस्ट फॉर मेन फॉर हेयर एंड बियर बाय द नेचुरल लुकिंग कलर सिर्फ पांच मिनट में आई बेज इंटरनेशनल Ahmed, two wickets for eight runs. He's one ball into his second over. I wonder if he picks up another one. If we're going to see a forward flip, I wonder. I wonder if he gets it out today. Dunanjai De Silva is the next man in. Strike rate of 131. His experience is a very good player. See, they've got to work hard. They've really got to work hard now. The Jaffna Stallions. He's got the pace right. Look at that. It's a leg break delivery. Just straightens. Goes through bat and pad, and that's what happens on Sri Lankan pitches. Typical Sri Lankan pitches. There's natural variation of the pitch. If you get it in on that little good length on a round off stump, sometimes some turns, some don't. And Rangan Hera, who's the spin coach, assistant coach of Colombo Kings, knows that about Sri Lankan pitches better than anyone. Yeah, I like the way he manages over. Guys, I'm a He makes sure. He makes sure that he start with his new work with an accurate delivery and keeps on building the pressure by variating. The skipper starting to get ready. He says, "Uh oh, I'm needed again. I'm gonna have to rescue my team." It's getting a little bit low. Sweepers in the play. Can he stop that? Oh, he slips as well. But he does well. He does well. Gets in the way and doesn't let it run off to the boundary. This is a different pitch, so I think a score around 170. That's another hundred runs in the next ten overs. But one of these two has to dig in. Bound has been there for a while. Can control that inning. Actually, De Silva in the deep. There is something in it for the bowlers. You will be a factor. Come oh on, boy! Come on, boys! Come on! So winning the toss and uh, electing the ball first has been a big bonus as well. Of course, if you're bowling last, you might have a, a due factor to handle. Yeah, That's yeah, going to be challenging. Cries yeah. of catch it shall be yeah. out and is out. He's got another one. He's got three. Three records for Case Ahmed now. My goodness gracious me! What a turnaround this is. He's hot, Case Ahmed. 
He's out to the batsman all the times. He's thinking wickets. He's tempting the batsman with a delivery which was pissed outside the off stump. Asked him to go after it. He tried, but failed. Three for 11, that's his return now. He's just completed two overs. Halfway mark, 66 for four it is. Fast cables are number one in technology. Pehli Kima Gold certification. Wiki, Vahit, CCD line or real quality ki fast tasteek. Taro se, sitaro tak. Fast cables. 2 kilo detergent ke mukabale mein 8 liter whiz liquid laundry detergent. Khushbudar 2 in 1 formula. Saal thabbo aur mitti ke zarrat ko nikal bhagai. Whiz liquid laundry detergent. Tabanai se bharpoor masidar. Dood ru afsa. 225 मिलीलीटर टेट्रा पैक में दस्तियाब है। Red Boots और Dark Spots की total treatment। Face Fresh cleanses the face wash। जो face fresh वो ही beautiful। Face Fresh। The exciting to Sarah Pereira, the captain of this. Jaffna Stallion's team comes to the crease and it's another crisis previous matches we've seen him handle those situations quite well with the bat which is asking a lot of questions from the batsman can he be able to uh, play free-flowing again innings for his side once again Pereira because his partners, his teammates actually tried to take on the ballers, but they failed. Three wickets for the leg spinner so far. Different conditions, different situation. You have to assess what the situation is. This is a Pereira. Great form. Loving the responsibility, loving the fact that he's discovered his game, grown it. Usually, always pulls the ball leg side, but now he's able to hit through the offside, which has now added another dimension to his game. I think time has come for Jaff Nastellians to assess what total is going to be fighting on this surface. He's gone after the baller. Wow! Talk about the talent. He arrived at the crease. Facing the second delivery and decided that was more than enough. I'm going to go after the baller and executed a brilliant stroke for a six. It's the attitude and approach. If it's in my zone, I'm going to play my shots. That's what he is brought into the game. That's what he's continuing with. If wickets fall around me, it doesn't matter. I'm going to play my own game. That's what he's working on. It's great to be strong and be able to do that. Before the start of this innings, Cesaro Pereira. And has accumulated 174 runs. Add six to that. Last shot played. And I mentioned in previous matches the difficult situation that he is faced with. The batter's captain against the Viking came in at 64 for five, scored 97 not out. Against Candy Tuskers came in at 49 for five, scored 68 in quick time too. Even in that instance, it was Dananjay De Silva at the other end, and he made a fantastic half century. Might be two. Just settles for one. The other point I'd like to make is uh, most of the opposition teams they've gone with seam against him. It might be different in this innings already. Kusal, we've seen Kes Ahmed from the other end pick up wickets. So, different challenge, bowling challenge for him in this innings. Yeah, Minot Banuka needed to kick on as wickets were falling at the other end. But bottom of the bat, unable to clear the fence. Another one, another one born. The wickets keep falling. Dan Anjay De Silva this time. He can't believe what he's just done. He's not convinced. He thinks. Dan Anjay at that. That ball went to the fielder on the bounce. He reckons, he reckons he's hit it into the ground. 
Both umpires will consult. I'm thinking if they go upstairs, they will have to give a decision before. But it's got to be a top edge for it to have gone that high. He's saying not out. So the soft signal is not out. So that is to aid if there is some doubt. And if the images are inconclusive. Critical period in the game. More so for the Jaffna Stallions. Delivery looks good from a legal point of view. That foot way behind. From this replay, one has to say the batsman has to start walking back. Yeah. Bounce and then the contact with the back. Ball went into the air, straight to the fieldsman. He completed that catch, and I'm afraid it'll be a bad news for the, for the batsman who has already started to walk back. He's out. Another wicket here for Colombo Kings. They're doing quite well with the ball. Dan and Jaya De Silva goes for two. 74 for five. Processor slow, to life mein no flow. Redmi hota, to ye na hota. Redmi 9C. Xiaomi. Tiger Energy Biscuits, which give 20% iron and zinc. New Tesla Tiger, which give energy ka double dose. Tiger Energy Biscuits, energy baratos, every day. Comes in quite early in this innings. He's got the ability with the bat as well. That's what we saw in the first game. When he featured in this Lanka Premier League, his side was down and out. He came out, assisted his captain, helping his side to get to a fighting total. So he's no mug with the bat, Hasaranga. He's gone to pace, Dusmanta Chamira. Hammered. Wow, Tisara Pereira. What a player. Angelo Matthews going to pace. Trying to be quick at this other Pereira and Hasaranga because a wicket here just puts the Colombo Kings in a different zone in this game. He likes some pace, Pereira. In my opinion, Angelo Matthews, to my liking, has introduced a pace man a bit too early. Spin would have been a better option at this stage of the game against Pereira. He likes a bit of pace, likes to hit the ball in the air, likes to play the boundary. Better. Try to uh, reduce the pace on that occasion, Shimara. This wicket hasn't really changed the approach by Tesara Pereira in the silver. Last wicket to fall. There was a question asked about the bounce, but clearly the ball running off the face of the bat. Kushal getting his first wicket. Are you surprised, Rosalano, with the same approach adopted by Tesara Pereira? No, that's what works for him. He doesn't complicate his game. That's how he's been successful. That's how he wants to play. And I reckon he should because where he comes in, it's about tempo. It's about taking the game away from the opposition. Oh, quick, quick again, Chamira. So exciting to watch. He's bowling with control, he's bowling with pace, and he's showing more skills. Slower balls. But that's the type of short ball you need to bowl to this at a Pereira if you're going short, not around the waist. It was very well directed as well. The batsman was overbalanced. They're coming back to Pereira's point. 
you may you want to see him bat positively the only thing different i want to see in this innings is if he's able to hit a six then look for singles take the game till the 17th over then he can go after every every delivery he has to bring some respectability to the total 10 runs from here on in will get them to 165 that short delivery bold to hasaranga we saw smiles all around surely that will earn some cycle incense fair pay points you would think to colombo kings playing the game in good spirit we really haven't had many issues have we it's been played in good spirits a bit of drama which was really entertaining but right now what's entertaining is this battle between dushman tachamira and tisra pereira long off in the circle long ones out square legs out find legs out so expect the short one quick that's the way to do it you want to bowl a short ball bowl it at his throat at the back shoulder of the batsman nowhere to go very good from chamira this delivery from chamira will have Pereira thinking that's for sure tried to bail out at the last moment the ball didn't give him that much of time to do to be able to do that in the end loved it was very lucky it sailed over the head of the wicketkeeper chandimal and got a bounty for it as well fortuitous four runs for the captain forces this one forces this one didn't have the power the persistent has paid off for chimera all the plans doesn't it feel good when a plan comes together he just lost it for a moment laurie evans but i'll tell you what angelo matthews went to his speedster the speedster produced a fantastic short delivery this is a prayer slightly out of zinc on that one mid off also in the circle so he was trying to go offside but the footwork not a hundred percent the pace not a hundred percent and his team slides sprayer has gone for 18 jaffna stallions in trouble big trouble 86 for six do the deal इसीलिए तो बचाए थे पैसे इसीलिए तो हम कहते हैं मोगल सुप्रीम अर्थ क्विक रेजिस्टेंट स्टील बार घर छोटा बड़ा नहीं घर महफूज होता है 20% ऑफ ऑन जैज वीकली सुपर प्लस अब सिर्फ दो सौ चालीस रूपए में मिलाओ स्टार्ट बाय जीरो फाइव दुनिया को बता दो लो सूख गए था अब कोई नहीं निकाल सकता जो कोई नहीं कर सकता वही तो चैंपियन करता है नया बेहतर सर्फ एक्सल इसकी स्टेन लिफ्टर टेक्नोलॉजी कपड़ों की तय में जाके सब सूखे दाग भी खींच निकाले नया सर्फ एक्सल दागों का चैंपियन सर्फ का दस अब दे दस फीसद ज्यादा पाउडर Wickets tumbling at regular intervals. Chaturanga de Silva. Brothers at the crease. Both have contributed at various stages when the team was in trouble. Not together on either side of Tisara Pereira, but now they've got to do it together. Make mum and dad proud. Well, that was my worry. Chancing his arms on every delivery. It wasn't the choice. On this surface, slow delivery, really working for the fast bowler. Just rolling his fingers over the seam, taking off the pace. An easy catch for the fieldsman. It covers. Andrew Russell now, and I mention how different this bowling unit is when you have Andre Russell, who can deliver four overs if needed. He's always got an extra gear on Russell. Doesn't exert too much, but still very effective. Strong shoulders. 
But there's been a bit of planning to how to get rid of Tisara Pereira. When he came in, Dushmanta Chamira, who bowls around the 140s regularly. And the moment the miss hit came up, Angelo Matthews was excited. Excited, punching the air, the smile, animated. And why not, Ross Lionel? He's a big fish. Based on what he's delivered in previous matches, his reputation, the way he can change a game with the bat. Must be happy as an opposing captain. Look at Matthews, look at Matthews. Oh yes. He brought Chamira in for a reason. Chamira delivered. It was the bouncer that really did it. Yeah, dead soft the batsman up. Looking to go all up the roof. Really fast. Just bowling within himself. Right idea to ball on this surface. Very crucial passage of the play for Jaffna. Stallions aged. Pace again. Andre Russell is very deceptive. He's not off his long run. So as a batsman, you got to be mindful of the power he's got in his shoulders. Went short. And just take a note of the pace. Nearing 134 kilometers per hour. Very clever indeed. Very clever, Andre Russell. But well directed. Chaturanga De Silva had nowhere to go. He was late. Always gives you the impression he's got a couple of gears with him. Ambles in. Wickets continue to fall. Chaturanga De Silva doesn't bother the scorers. It's seven wickets down for the Jaffna Stallions. Just 87 runs on the board. Just for men for hair and beard. Buy of the natural looking color. Sit punch me at me. I base international. Fast cable se jagmagai har khel ka maidan. Performance shanda. Real quality ki pehchan. Taro se sitaro tak. Fast cables. Signal should be Andrew Russell. Well, he's such a different player when he can produce his all round skills. He's well known for his batting and his power, but when he starts giving his best with the ball, any captain will want him to be bowling a full complement of four overs. That reminded me of Shoei Bakhtar. He used to bowl those uh, nasty bounces. With a short run up, and with the pro process, he picked up quite a few wickets. He'll be detected. He's had his problems with injury. He had a hamstring injury during the CPL. He's had his problem with his ankle. <laughs> it's a left ankle and the pounding. Brilliant over. A wicket and three runs from it. 89 for seven. Lo, so gaida. Ab koi nahi nikal sakta. Jo koi nahi kar sakta, wahi to champion karta hai. Naya behtar surfexel. Iski stain lifter technology kapro ki tay mein ja ke sab sukhe daag bhi khich nikale. Naya surfexel daago ka champion. Surf ka dust ab de 10 percent zyada powder. Just for men for hair and beard. Buy of the natural looking color. Sit punch me at me. I base international. Wheels a 
some wheels from uh, Tamara. Aggression being shown by the fast bowlers in this Colombo Kings team. We'll continue to track the MVP of the tournament, the My 11 Circle MVP of the tournament at the moment, Tassara Pereira, captain of the Jaffna Stallions at the top. Gunaratna, Samit Patel, Sharnika also there. Gunatilika, who has been productive with the bat for the Gold Gladiators on that list. Oh, this will hurt. This will hurt. The bat ball zipped through. This so reminds me of uh, Mohammed Zahid, this young youngster. He's talented. He's bowling him out straight on that thumb. Binura Fernando knew straight away he was in trouble. Bit of claret. That's the difference of having a bowler who can bowl quickly, who can bowl fast consistently. Now, in the last over, big difference to the game. Tisara Pereira has been making a massive difference. Started off with a short one which was quick, but not well directed. Didn't dig it in as much as he should have and got smacked. Followed it up with a shorter one. Better direction at the back shoulder of the batsman. Very next delivery. Pereira losing his base, having a wild swing. That's what it does. You direct that short one, you get results even against the very best. We have seen so many fast bowlers who could really generate the pace. But the key is to land the ball in the right areas. Ball with control. And if you have the control, then you become doubly effective. Accurate and threatening. That's a great combo. Cycle Incense Fair Play Award. Jaffna Stallions at the top. I mentioned the smiles from Hasaranga when he got that short pitch delivery. The Tuskers in second place, followed by Dambulla Viking. You can see the concern by the Colombo Kings and the players as well. Coming forward to ensure that uh, Fernando is well taken care of and uh, can continue his batting. He's got a slip in. Angelo Matthews doing the right thing. He's picked up seven wickets. If Chamira bowls out at this stage, get another one. They'll be chasing not many. So Matthews in a very attacking frame of mind. Not surprisingly going short again. Just pushing Fernando back. Seems to commit himself a little too early onto that front foot. That was a bit of treatment that he received on that thumb. Right thumb that was struck. That's always painful. Looked a very different pitch. The move right to the edge. Different colors, a few cracks. Different types of grass. So it was going to be a little unpredictable. And we're seeing that. Angelo Matthews won the toss and then said he didn't know how much runs he needed and how the pitch would play. That's why he opted to bowl first. And they're using the conditions really well. Russell Amir, are we seeing a chink in the armor of this Jaffna Stallion team when it comes to batting? You think about what Tassara Pereira delivered with the bat in crisis situation. I think their top order is, is the main worry. You know, they have repeatedly failed a player like Shweb Malik is not responding. That's a huge worry. I think what they really need to do is they have to re-strategize. They have to ask their top order batsmen to spend some time at the crease. We've got a strong bowling lineup and we can even defend 150 or 60 runs. So, encourage your top order. Just go out there and even if you if you're made to eat few deliveries, don't worry about that. Get the rhythm. Get your form going. They've 
already qualified, in my opinion, for the semi-finals. So, yes, you know, a solid point. They need to think about that. Bowling wise, that there. Yes. Revealing the field in that backward point region. And he was diving away to his left. That single preventing a maiden would have been only the second time in the tournament. 14 overs got 90 for 7. 20% off on Jazz Weekly Super Plus. Up sit 240 rupees me. Milao Star 505 hash. Dunya ko batado. Do the deal. तवानाई से भरपूर मजेदार दूध रू अफसा दो सौ पच्चीस मिली लीटर टेट्रा पैक में दस्तियाब है रसल टू कंटिन्यू रसल योर थॉट्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ द बैटिंग फ्रॉम दिस जाफना स्टालियन टीम and the question I asked about there being some sort of deficiency there. I think he's thinking that why should I play? He's going to select himself. Yeah, the consistency is needed, but at various stages, someone's popping up. That hasn't happened today. Avishka Fernando, Dananjay De Silva. Just today, Minot Banuka contributed. And then the middle order has taken over. So, Shoy Malik still hasn't hey. found his mojo, and you have to back him. To rather have to, uh, uh, Johnson Charles, who's playing his first game today, or Tom Moores, if they can fire too, then it'll look a little bit better for the Jaffna Stallions. But they've ended up scoring lots of runs. But here they have to make changes. The changes they've made. They need to look at the schedule. Four games in five days. Going forward, they have another three games coming up in four days. So trying to rest players, keeping them fresh. And also another thing that needs to be achieved is give opportunity for young players. So looking to tick many of these boxes. Well, the thing is, the question remains, if your top order is not working, how can you keep on resting them and bringing new players? They're not resting. They've been given a good run. Well, you mentioned. Manchikumi, number one biscuit brand in Sri Lanka. Snacks we've been enjoying in the commentary box, in particular Rosalano. Now that is always in form. So changes need to be made to keep the team fresh, but the batting has been consistent in terms of selection. It's just the players need to get going collectively. Also just want to say, they've won four matches already, so it's just a bit of analysis. They've played good cricket, but it's the first time they're up against Colombo Kings. And when you look at the Kings and its team on paper, it's a formidable unit, so you want to see how they fare against a top team. Oh, the short ball being used really well by the Colombo Kings. Asananga not in a position to take any chances. He's got to try and bat the 20 overs. And hopefully, he can get them to the a score around 140. The squad, Kyle Abbott in today, Duan Olivier played three games. And same as Usman Shinwari, the two bowlers left out, Suranga Lakmal too. Fifteen gone, 93 for seven. Do the deal. इसीलिए तो बचाए थे वैसे। इसीलिए तो हम कहते हैं मोल सुप्रीम अर्थक्विक रेजिस्टेंस स्टील बार घर छोटा बड़ा नहीं घर महफूज होता है। लो, सूख गए था। अब कोई नहीं निकाल सकता। जो कोई नहीं कर सकता, वही तो चैम्पियन करता है। नया बेहतर सरफेक्सल। इसकी स्टेन लिफ्टर टेक्नोलॉजी कपड़ों की तय में जाके सब सूखे दाग भी खींच निकाले। नया सरफेक्सल, दागों का चैम्पियन।
सर्फ का दस अब दे दस फीसद ज्यादा पाउडर Oh, is due to six wickets going down for 36 runs. That's been their cluster, which has really put them on the back foot. Five overs remaining. 27 runs scored in the last five overs. That's all. They've got to go. I wonder if they can get to the 147, 150 mark. I mentioned that. Because that's what the Kings couldn't chase in their last game. If they get 150, I wonder if that's going to test on the surface. Look at this pace. Tamira's pace in the last over was uh, really impressive. Yeah, that's exactly what we want to see from just much at Tamira. I thought he's bowled very well tonight. I don't think this is the same typical wicket. I think if they can scramble to 141, 50, they've got a chance here. Clubbed. Nice sound. And nicely stopped as well. That went very quickly. Few questions for the Japanese Italians. Every time they batted first, the top order has struggled. And Tisara Pereira bailed him out. And now with Tisara gone, obviously they haven't really had someone else putting their putting their hands up. That's one. Second thing is spoke about the planning of the Colombo Kings. They've been very effective with the short ball. Used Dusman Dusman the Chamira very very judiciously. They knew whom to target. They went after Tisara with a short ball, and I think the execution has been brilliant. Couldn't agree more. That's what's at the end of this. One versus three. That's the clash today. The Colombo Kings are sitting at number three on the table. It's an outside edge. It's going to run away for a boundary. They need that. Italians will argue that they have rested a few top players. But the fact remains that the top order batting first have never been comfortable. Yeah, they've rested a couple of players. That I think they've been very wise in that they've rotated their quick bowlers. They haven't really rested their top line batsmen, and the batsmen have fired and they fired sporadically. Tosara Pereira's done a great job for them. Ivishka Fernando's done very, very well. Dunajay has played well in in a game. Shaib Malik played well in one game. Collectively, yet they haven't fired as a collective. Very talented. But that's something they'll work on. Speaking of talented, this guy is short delivery, good comeback. Jay is swinging at that one. That's for sure. You could hear the swish through the stump mics. Must he still have the toss? But they thought that uh, they were peaking a little bit too early because they were just winning it so easily. Now this is the My Eleven Circle LPL trophy that they're playing for, and um, well, what a memorable. Uh, LPL it has been, and the team that's winning it in the inaugural year will always remember it. Always the first. Down the third man. It's going to be on the bounce. Yeah, I was so happy to see a third man come in. I think it's so tough for a bowler, particularly a quick bowler, coming to the back end of the innings, uh, bowling with no third man. The ball that went for four that Benura Fernando got down there was a good delivery. It was it was an outside edge, and because he didn't have a third man, the ball raced away. I think this is a better field. Righto, one ball left in this over. Seven runs from it. Can they pick up a boundary? 100 on the board now. Straight to the man, direct hit will be interesting. Oh, I think direct hit would have been out. It wasn't though. Desperate dive. End result is one run, eight from it. 101 for seven. And also a strategic timeout. Har meal pe single deal? Ye to trouble hai. Ab kya trouble hai? Food panda pe sab double hai. अरे फिर से सिंगल डबल है मुन्ना अब तक सिंगल हो वो चाचा डबल है भाई जान बबल है डबल है फूड पैंडा डबल डील घर का खाना मंगवाओ या रेस्टोरेंट से खाओ अभी ऐप डाउनलोड करो और डबल डील पाओ एंड द अवार्ड गोस टू मिस्टर फवाद
टाइगर एनर्जी बिस्किट जो दे बीस फीसद आयरन और जिंक की गजाइत नया दस वाला टाइगर जो दे एनर्जी का डबल डोज टाइगर एनर्जी बिस्किट एनर्जी भरा डोज हर रोज एक चॉकलेट अब निकले आपका चेंज कुछ अच्छा हो जाए कुछ मीठा हो जाए बड़ी स्क्रीन से मिले बड़ी इंजॉयमेंट रेडमी होता तो ये ना होता रेडमी नाइन सी शाउमी ट्वेंटी परसेंट वीकली सुपर प्लस अब से दो सौ चालीस रुपए में मिलाओ स्टार फाइव जीरो फाइव हैश दुनिया को बता दो The app from my11circle.com. You can select your team, get maximum points, and have fun with the champions. I hope you've got this guy. This game, he's at a blinder. Three for 11. His return off two overs. Case Ahmed. Outside edge. On the bounce and four. Scooted away for a boundary first ball. Yeah, when Indra has Saranga, he can finish in innings. That, that's that, that's a role that he plays very, very well. It's it's a, it's amazing. It's it's amazing how a minute the leg spinner bowls to a leg spinner, there's always action because they want to get one up over their opponent. You reckon that's a my 11 circle champion shot? Just kept a little bit low that time. Things happened. But Kais Ahmed was uh, introduced into the attack. This was his first wicket. Easily taken. That was a beauty. Shah Malik played for the turn. It wasn't there. Found the gap between bat and pad. And this is his third. Turned the game on its head, and he's not finished yet. The opportunity, like the likes of Bani to Hasarangas getting batting with the tail and batting. With four overs to go, should be used in the po in a positive sense. If he could make it a good finish, just uh, showcase the talent, his batting skills, and how well he he could work with resources and situations. Yeah, because he's bound to face, bound to come up, or bound to face such situations when he plays at international level. So, so these are the opportunities they need to make use of. My old pupil Herschel Gibbs on the on the bench. He'll be very happy with this side's performance tonight, and of course with the champion Regina Hirat. Oh, he's going to bowl that one again. Bit of exercise for the umpire. Wide called. Well, what are you doing there? Lecturing him again? Are you calling a wide? <laughs> yeah, you're surely talking about a wide there, Mickey. Haven't you stopped lecturing him now? Down the track. Has he gone on the way? Yes, he has. That's a beauty. That is what they needed. That's a big boundary. Great shot went into Hasaranga. Come down the wicket. Met the met it on. The
More challenging now. Eight down. Kyle Abbott arrives into the non strikers end. Hasarunga's on strike. Now he's got to take as many deliveries as possible. Hasarunga to try and get as many as possible. Simple as that. There's a boundary area over the top. of extra cover, lower deliveries will come. So we say, Mughal Supreme Earthquake Resistant Steel Bar. The house is not small, but the house is made. We are fresh, 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 just for men for hair and beard. Buy of the natural looking color. Sip Panch Minak Me. I base international. Ek chocolate of Mikele. Happy birthday, me. Kuch acha ho jai. Kuch vita ho jai. Zen Hasaranga's on strike. Now he's got to take as many deliveries as possible. Hasaranga to try and get as many as possible. Simple as that. There's a boundary area over the top of extra cover. The slower deliveries will come. Ease that around, pass fine leg, and that's four. That's clever. That's nicely played. How did he sort of make that mistake? Short final again, and so was third man. But Hasaranga was brilliant. He, he knew exactly where the fielders were. Just moved inside the line. Yeah, well, the field's telling you exactly what ball is is going to bowl here. Whereas Hasaranga knows he's going to take pace off, he Isuru wants to Hasaranga to hit him down the ground, a deep mid wicket, deep long on, deep long off, deep extra cover, and deep point. That's that's the areas he wants him to hit, and that just indicates he's taking pace off the ball all the time. Hasaranga is very busy in the crease. That's the problem he's got there. That's the challenge. Down the ground straight. Now they're both wide, and that's four. That connection's outstanding. What a great shot. Again, held his shape, got his weight through the ball, hit it as straight as a die. There was pace on the ball at that, uh, that time. Hasaranga using the pace very well. That's the wicket. That's the wicket of Benura Fernando out the back of the hand. And he's pulled it down to deep long on. Laurie Evans watching it, watching it, watching it. Very good catch that. Watched it all the way into his hands. Three balls left in the over. Again, he moves around, slices that for another boundary. That's three in a row. That is gun batting from Hasaranga. This is top quality batting by Ivanidu Hasaranga. And these are proper cricket shots. It's not slogging. Got inside the line, got one down to fine leg, then the straight one, and this one. Look how, how much he goes across. And just opens the face uses the width perfect perfect and look at him look at him go <laughs> it's going to force some changes that's going to mean uh, Udana go to plan B changes all over the place now fine leg in position a deep backward square on the leg side as well third man is inside the circle no fine leg is inside the circle Deep mid wicket as well. He's found another gap, four in a row. That's another My 11 Circle champion shot. I think that might be the fourth actually of the over. Fantastic batting from Winindo Hasaranga. And if we not, don't forget the, the last game where he gave himself room, he slices the ball through the offside so well, opens the bat face and guards it down into the vacant area just behind point. Great shot, Winindo Hasaranga. Jeff Nostalians may be in trouble, but I'm a big believer of, in momentum. And these type of innings, these type of shots, and a good finish will ensure that they carry the momentum with them. Jeff Nostalians, well, this was the first one. Got inside the line, and then went straight. Pitched up full. 
And just uh, beautifully opening the face of the bat again. Great improvisation. Live now. It's a no ball too. It's gone for four. It's a no ball. He's going to have to bowl that again. It's going to be a free hit. Was it a foot no ball or was it above waist height? That was above waist height. I think that one, Hazy. Maybe both. <laughs> Yeah, Saru Dana, and it's amazing when you get a batsman who improvises. It's amazing. It's amazing. It causes mayhem. We saw Saru Dana start over the wicket to one into Hasaranga. He's come around the wicket now, trying to cramp him for room, and just got that one horribly wrong. And look at, look at the bowler who's baffled. We're not talking of a rookie. We're talking of an experienced bowler, Saru Dana, who's played around the world. We've already spoken about free hit. High. Has it gone all the way? Catch is taken. Andre Russell has taken the catch. But free hit, so he's all right. 136 for eight. Just for men for hair and beard. Buy of the natural looking color. Sit punch me at me. I base international. आपका चेंज हैप्पी बर्थडे मी कुछ अच्छा हो जाए कुछ मीठा हो जाए Crazy over 22 runs scored off the last over a wicket first ball, five fours, and he's also retained the strike. So we've got two overs remaining now, 18 gone, 136 for eight. So 14 required to get to that mark of 150 I was talking about. Matthews. High on the bat. Oh, it's over the top. Over the top of Laurie Evans, and that's gone for four. Everything running his way. For a moment, I thought it was down Laurie Evans' throat, just over him. And Hasaranga enjoying himself. Matthews just cramping him up a little bit. Yeah, the one thing I didn't like that, uh, with that shot and that I've liked with all the previous shots was he was a little bit on the move. He was still on the move when he played the shot. The key to his batting is a good, stable, solid base. 140 up. Followed him, chased him. Nicely bowled by the senior pro. Yeah, he's bowling, he's bowling a heavy ball, Angela, Angela Matthews is. I've loved the way he's bowled tonight. He adds so much value when he bowls. There's the last ball. That was the free hit. Hit it out. Deep down to long off. Andre Russell taking the catch. Free hit, not out. Most important thing, though, was when Indu Hasaranga got back on strike. Good leg side is missed out there. Fine leg is fairly wide. And results just one means Abbott is now going to be on strike. So Matthews at the death. I wonder whether that was part of the plan of Colombo Kings. Not so sure. But with the way Wanidu Hasaranga has been going about with the bat in hand, Matthews just coming in, using his experience, just trying to control things. Is inside the ring trying to stop the one coming in a little bit closer. Oh, he's done well, Abbott. He's got that away for a single only. Asaranga back on strike. That's exactly what the Stallions want. This is starting to develop into a very, very good score on this wicket. Something that the Japanese Stallions bowlers can bowl at for sure. And again, the man they've got to thank is one into Asaranga. Superb finishing here so far at the back end. 22 balls, seven fours and one six, striking at 186. Amazing, amazing effort. Boundary percentage is 83 percent. Bowled him through his legs, hit that leg stump, lit up the stumps, and Matthews has struck. That is an important wicket as far as the Colombo Kings are concerned. But he's done his bit. 
He would have liked to have finished things off, but I think he's given uh, the Jaff Stallion something to bowl at. Matthews did the right thing. He was moving across the crease, so he went for that leg stump Yorker, which was perfect. Asaranga goes. Well, what an entertaining knock. 41 of 23, 142 for 9. Look, so champion. powder. जिसने तुम्हें पैदा किया और दूसरी माँ तुम्हारी जमीन और भाग को छोड़कर कौन भागता है द गेम विजय कांत व्यास कांत मेकिंग इज डेप्यू यंग मैन फ्रॉम जाफना इल बी नाइनटीन टुमारो इल मेक एवरीबॉडी फ्रॉम द नॉर्दर्न प्रोविंस सो प्राउड And he manages to survive that first delivery. 142 for 9, 19 overs completed. Lo, soup gaye da. Ab koi nahi nikal sakta. Jo koi nahi kar sakta, wahi to champion karta hai. Naya better surf excel. Iski stain lifter technology kapro ki tay mein jaake sab sukhe daag bhi khich nikale. Naya surf excel daago ka champion. Surf ka dust ab de dust ki sab se aada powder. Just for men for hair and beard. Buy of the natural looking color. Sip Panch Minat Me. I Base International. Fire. Wood Gold. Face Fresh Beauty Cream. Jo Face Fresh. Very beautiful. Face Fresh. Colombo Kings. Hasaranga out. 41 of 23 means that uh, the big aggressor has gone uh, but can give the ball a little bit of a club but of course that's not what he's uh, normally there to do he'll have a job to do with the ball though Russell down the ground on the bounce very well ball Andre Russell Finishes so superbly by coming round the wicket and getting that length nice and deep. This was the ball, Angelo Matthews perfecting the leg, leg stump Yorker. He's bowled very, very well tonight, Angelo Matthews, and got that execution perfect. Using the angle, sweeper out there, nicely played off the mark. He's away. Very good looking shot for Young Diaz Khan, the number 11. Another look, Matthews just making sure, brought himself on, knew that this wicket was important and crammed him up and uh, he'll be very happy indeed. Look at the reaction. Slow delivery. Right, three balls left now in this innings. 145 for nine. Can they pick up boundary? Solid drive, just the one. He looks good. Just a single, but there was so much style in that shot. Looked a proper batsman shot. Pretty exciting for him, that's for sure. 18 years of age, wow. So these sort of leagues are about these youngsters getting to share change with some of the stars learning from them getting a run another single look look what he's got he's got one ball to finish off in the innings and if he can finish off on a high i can tell you he'll tell his grandchildren on my debut last ball this is what i did so let's see what he does 
Let's hope it will be, mem it will be memorable. Into his foot. It's going to finish up uh, a single, so it's all singles to finish the over. It's taken him to 148. 148 of 20 overs. I think that's okay. At one stage, they didn't look like they were going to get there. Hasaronga certainly gave things a nice little spurt. The end result is a really interesting total. This track is not going to be used to bat on. They'll be happy that Russell's in action again. जिसने तुम्हें पैदा किया और दूसरी माँ तुम्हारी जमीन और माँ को छोड़कर कौन भागता है लो सूख गए था अब कोई नहीं निकाल सकता जो किन करता है नया बेहतर सर्फ एक्सल इसकी स्टेन लिफ्ट बेहतर सर्फ एक्सल इसकी स्टेन लिफ्टर टेक्नोलॉजी कपड़ों की तय में जाके सब सूखे दाग भी खींच निकाले सर्फ एक्सल दागो का चैंपियन सर्फ का दस अब दे दस फीसद ज्यादा पाउडर एक चॉकलेट अब निकले हापी कुछ अच्छा हो जाए कुछ मीठा हो जाए इम्पोर्टेंट गेम फॉर द कोलंबो किंग्स Jeff and the Stallions are uh, top of the table. There's a look at the the card for the Stallions today. Yep, Hasaranga was brilliant. 41 of 23. He really made sure that the Stallions got close to that 150. None of the other batsmen really blossomed against some good bowling by the Colombo Kings. Now we have a look at the bowling card. Matthews right at the top three overs. Dot balls were important. Dozen dot balls for Matthews. One wicket and just uh, conceding the nine runs, so that's really good. Let's just go down the bottom there to Case Ahmed. Three overs, seven dot balls, three for 24. Straight in the game, actually picked up three quick ones, and that turned the tables dramatically for the Colombo Kings. Two for 27 for Tamir Ebol quite quickly as well. Madonna, for once, got a little bit of tap, so that'll be disappointing for him. But uh, there's no doubt that Case Ahmed was the star of the ball. That's the situation. That's what the Colombo Kings need. 149 they need to win this one. It's a really important game as far as the uh, further down the road goes in this tournament. They've got 20 overs to go. The weather's really good. Conditions are outstanding. And the target is just at seven and a half runs per over. जो कोई नहीं कर सकता वही तो चैंपियन करता है नया बेहतर सर्फ एक्सल इसकी स्टेन लिफ्टर टेक्नोलॉजी कपड़ों की तय में जाके सब सूखे दाग भी खींच निकाले सर्फ एक्सल दागो का चैंपियन सर्फ का दस अब दे दस फीसद ज्यादा पाउडर Just for men for hair and beard. Buy of the natural looking color. Sit five minutes me. I base international. इसीलिए तो बचाए थे वैसे. इसीलिए तो हम कहते हैं. Mole Supreme Earthquake Resistant Steel Bar. घर छोटा बड़ा नहीं. घर महफूज होता है. Twenty percent off on Jazz Weekly Super Plus. अब सिर्फ दो सौ चालीस रुपए में. मिलाओ start by zero five hash. दुनिया को बता दो. Do the deal. 
डू द ड्यू फेस फ्रेश फ्रेंड्स ऑफ फेस वॉश जो फेस फ्रेश वो ही ब्यूटिफुल फेस फ्रेश जस्ट फॉर मेन फॉर हेयर एंड बियर बाय अपना नेचुरल लुकिंग कलर सिर्फ पाँच मिनट में आई बेज इंटरनेशनल से भरपूर मजेदार दूध रू अफसा दो सौ पच्चीस मिली लीटर टेट्रा पैक में दस्तियाब है जस्ट फॉर मेन फॉर हेयर एंड बियर बाय अपना नेचुरल लुकिंग कलर सिर्फ पांच मिनट में आई बेज इंटरनेशनल और सड़सठ रुपए में जैज महान बचत ऑफर लगा जैज दुनिया को बता दो जस्ट फॉर मेन फॉर हेयर एंड बियर बाय अपना नेचुरल लुकिंग कलर सिर्फ पांच मिनट में Welcome back to Hamban Tota where we've witnessed the first half of this uh, match 11 of the My 11 Circle Lanka Premier League. Jaffna Stallions been sent into bat could only muster 148 for 9. And thanks a lot to Hasaranga who showed some rare guard action with the bat 41 from 23 because they were struggling at one stage 87 for 7 they were. And he single-handedly brought some respectability to the score. Colombo Kings bowling they were quite good case Ahmed Chandamal will open the batting alongside Lori Evans from the UK. He's been in some form. Yes, he has. They'd like to keep the momentum going. Binro Fernando took a blow to that right hand, but it's good to see him out there. Shamir was the bowler. He'll have to lead the attack. It's a different attack today. There's no Usman Khan, Shinwari, or Duan Olifier. Suranga Lakmal also left out. It's a hard schedule. It's opportunities for the others to show what they're capable of. Bruno Fernando was impressive when he initially played, but he played along with the other bowlers. Right now, it's a different ask. Can he be the main bowler along with Kyle Abbott? So it's different roles, and that comes about different thinking, different approach, right, Mickey? Yeah, hundred percent right there, Russ. And what they're going to need though is wickets up front, so they're going to need Benura and Kyle Abbott to really stand up, and then let Hasaranga take it away through the middle. He's down, Ben Rufinando. Just doesn't seem his day. Falling 
right over just looked in a bit of discomfort the front making was difficult you have to believe that when you go out to defend you should have some help in the pitch too it's that belief it's that execution that takes you forward and then you need to feel like de demons and squeeze and squeeze and squeeze because that will bring you wickets Lot of peel, a little bit of swing, a little bit of swing, the finger goes up. Will it be reviewed? That's a big question. Chandimal will ask his partner. Came back sharply, came back sharply. But great swing. That's why a left armor is so dangerous. He wants the review. Chandimal wants to look at it, but he was caught on the crease that was pitched up. A left armor generally gets the angle across and has that ability to bring one back in. Binura Fernando does that beautifully. But did it do too much? Chandimal thinks so. Oh, that's Plum. Pitching in line. Straightening. Just the start. We're talking about Binura Fernando having to produce. He's got the decision from the umpire. Ravindra Vimalasiri said yes. What's Ruchira Guru upstairs? What's he gonna say? Paliaguru game. Well, surely it was pitching in line. Yeah. Outside. Surprisingly, so that's a very good review by Dinesh Chandimal. I don't think he reviewed it because he thought it was pitching outside leg. Like, he thought it swung a lot and that it was gonna miss leg. Like. But just it, millimeters a thread yeah but, but he, he he used laurie evans really well and and in that conversation laurie evans was kind of intimating that perhaps perhaps it's it pitched just outside the line of leg stump well no joy for Binro fernando but that should encourage him this is what you want to see to be pushed to be tested and show what you're made of. A lot of these players, oh, that wasn't smart. That wasn't smart. <laughs> because that's the hand he injured while batting and he stuck it out. Oh dear, Vimro Fernando. And these are players who are trying to impress you and the other selectors. So these are good signs. Well, for those of you who missed it in the first innings when Nishmanta Chimera was bowling, bowled a short delivery that struck Fernando on that right thumb. That's why it's taped up. It was a painful blow. Again, sliding down the leg side. Hint of swing, but it's important to get the direction. Our delivery from the left armor must pitch in line. That's when he will be more threatening. He's bowling a good length. That's when not sure whether to move on to the front foot or not. So we're going to follow up. I said it was fun. Who knows that it's pitching outside leg stump? And that's a threat. movement maybe a bit of bat on that one leg by signal but going down the leg side end of the first over three without loss Best bowlers in the My 11 Circle Lanka Premier League in the power play. 
three bowlers on this list. Members of the Jaffna Stallions team, Usman Shinwari, who's not playing. We've spoken about the importance of taking early wickets. The economy rates of these bowlers quite good as well. So Dananjaya De Silva is an option. Nura Fernando opening the bowling already for the Jaffna Stallions. So a lot of focus will be on two out of the three Jaffna bowlers on that list. Interesting move. They've gone to Vanindu Hasaranga. Obviously, the leg spinner because two right-handers. If they were left-handers, they'd have gone with Dananjaya De Silva. Now he's the ace. I would have preferred to keep him to the end of the power play when he has the field set down he can attack we have more overs of him we saw the ball move an over from Kyle Abbott to see if he can extract something that would have been the way I would have gone yeah I think you're right there Russ they obviously gain four wickets up front they gain to their ace went into Hasaranga and I think it is a little bit of a matchup with these two batsmen I'm with you there Mickey Matchups uh, usually guides used by teams uh, to decide on bowlers to use against certain batsmen. But I also want to mention is uh, those three Jaffna bowlers who've done well in the power playovers. They don't feature in the list of best bowlers in the dead overs. So again, possibly them not bowling the right lines at that phase of the innings, or maybe. They just specialize into bowling in the power playovers. So, a lot for Tassara Pereira to think about in terms of his bowling changes. How long do you go with one into Hasaranga? Is it just one over in the matchup and then you throw to Carl Abbott? Just the one over. You need to keep one into Hasaranga for those middle overs where spinners. A lot more comfortable when they have a bit more protection. The fact that Tisar Pereira also has the youngster, Vijay Khan, Vyas Khan, 18 year old, a great bowler, playing for the first time in this situation. So, relying on him and giving Hasaranga this over is very, very brave. And of confidence, a uh, vote of confidence for the young man, too. Four runs off the second over, it's seven for no loss. Lanka Premier League Miss Sayvisa, December Das and Aqua, Sajay Viva Narabanda, TVI, News I, Content I, Facebook Saha, YouTube Nalika Banese, Ekatubanda. To download the My 11 Circle app. Just fall short. Remember to pick your fantasy teams, earn maximum points, and be a champion whilst playing with the champions champion for store though from Bruno Fernando it's got to maintain that length crucially on a length on the fuller side that's why he's getting swing even when it's on a length it's more towards the slot that's that's where you give the ball just like that you give the ball a lot more chance to swing and if you notice in all six deliveries, the batsman hardly got a foot forward. So that's that perfect length where the batsman's not sure which way to move. And, and also with that, wow, that's a beautiful shot there. Wow, look at that. Well done to the cameraman. The, just to go back to Benura, the, the, he, if he was watching Chimera bowl, Chimera bowled early. That was the length that was the toughest to play. He's just replicating that right now. And sometimes you get clues from the team that's bowled before you. Good call, good early call with the shot. 
Would it be the same length you'll go for different bowlers, Mickey? Different styles, the pace, height. Is it a set length that you would expect them to bowl or a length that will suit them? Could be uh, depending on their style of bowling. Well, the set length gives you an indication of where it's tougher to score on the wicket in terms of the pace, in terms of the little bit of movement. That length will give you a clue. And then it's up to that bowler to find his own length that's going to hit the top of all stump. Goes across the line. Just from that discussion that you guys are having. I still think you can't be predictable. So even if you have a stock length, you still got to try and maybe change pace with a couple deliveries in and over. Be a little bit on the short side or maybe get it a little bit fuller. Because in T20 cricket, you know, batsmen could easily set themselves for you if you're predictable in terms of your lengths. But what works here today for the bowlers is this pitch is a little unpredictable. Bit variable in pace and bounds. Slower delivery, he's picked it up. Picked it up nicely. And out of nowhere, Laurie Evans. Correction, Dinesh Chandimal. Puts the pressure on the bowler. That's the 151st six of the tournament. It, oh, if we watch this, Benura Fernando's gone slower ball. Dinesh Chandimal's just hit through the line. Great connection. And, and hit it for six. Guys, th th that is always the one debate that we always have in the dressing room is the fact that if you've bowled a good couple of balls, do you have to change it because the batsman's under pressure? Normally you want to see the variation when the bowler gets under pressure. And and, and, and Benura wasn't under any sort of pressure. Really good, really good bit of fielding out there. 16, 17 without loss at the end of three. So far, so good with the run chase for Colombo Kings. Intense contest at the moment. Saranga will continue. Catch it! Use of the feet by Dinesh Chandimal was a difficult chance. It had to stick. It's probably saved three runs for the team, but again, Hasaranga getting a second over. Sir Ferreira going to his best bowlers early. Good effort. That was traveling. You bowl and you're heading to your left. He had to come back to his right. Use of the feet again. Excellent stuff from Laurie Evans. Makes good contact and that's a My 11 circle champion shot. Wait through the ball, Laurie Evans. He's hit that unbelievably hard. Advancing down the wicket. Flat backs it straight back past Winindu Hasaranga. This is a big call. It's a tough ask to ask a leg spinner to bowl two on the trot in the power play. And again, this time it flies over the boundary, goes for six. Already 11 runs from the over. Manindu Hasaranga under pressure. He's handled pressure really well. But without protection in the field. I say that because we are in the power play overs. Only two allowed outside the circle. It's a little hard. To use flight. To try and deceive the batsman in the air. Right now, the batsman making all the moves. Got him! Under pressure. He seems to find a way. Manindu Hasaranga. He's a star. Wow, Hindu. Write that down.
incredibly well bowled that that was the googly that was the googly not read at all by Laurie Evans through his defenses a great comeback there from one Nindu Hasaranga to Silva and doesn't he love it Laurie Evans 14 of 10 Colombo Kings 28 for one The 27 year old Daniel Bell Drummond is the new batsman, comes from the UK, plays for the Kent County team, averages 31 in T20 cricket. Side edge. Wow, window finds a way with bat, with ball. What a cricketer! You can say it was an investment. Ten runs before the wicket was taken by Hasaranga. Murray Evans uh, would have used his feet, hit him down the ground, and went for a six. But he had the last laugh. Wicket in the over, 28 for one. Premier League 2020 Official webcasting partner Content I Asia Oberton Magaher no sealed wet as at a hand Pahasu Velavat and Arabande TVI News site Upake YouTube Nalika Dekama Amataka Nokara then subscribe Karana Two overs in the power play, under pressure by Laurie Evans, advancing, smack that, smacked another, but Wawindu Hasaranga, it's not called for Wawindu for nothing. Tells you about his character as a person, of course, and he always produces something when he's under the pump. He does. He's a, he, he is a big match player, but that doesn't happen by chance, guys. He works incredibly hard at his game. He's always first in the nets, last out of the nets, hits extra balls, bowls extra balls. He works so hard. Very dedicated cricketer. Picks this one up nicely. That had pace on it, and you could see the aggression. Goes for six. It's the angle into the pads that helped Chandimal flick it away. But I wish should persist. This pitch should have the kind of length that will suit his type of bowling. Skip through. We have to use variations to put batsmen off from just targeting him like that very good shot there for, from Dinesh Chandamal the length was the what was the, was the thing there he need that length was just a little bit too short he needs to get it fuller hammers that Chandimal he's in good form we saw that in the very first game when the Colombo Kings were chasing down 219 he made 80 my 11 circle champion shot. There's no extra cover. There's a fielder on the point boundary. 
just uses that pace. Hitting it on the rise, Dinesh Chandimal. Expressing himself. You could see his expression, the energy that he's applying in the swing. And again, this time he finds the fielder. What he's trying to do is make use of the power play overs. Only two fielders outside the 30 yard circle. There is a sweeper through the offside. And there is a square leg, so we'll be looking for the gaps. Two boundaries in the over so far. A word on one in the Hasaranga, Darren. Four more, one bounce. My 11 circle champion shot. Well, the worries of the first over for Chandimal left far behind. He's come out, he's blazed it, he's freeing his arms up, Mr. Dinesh Chandimal, and hitting some cracking shots. That is a very, very good shot. The Colombo Kings batting mindset, they will be thinking one big partnership and one mini partnership gets us home here. And that's the difference when you know what to get. Batting first on a pitch that's slightly unpredictable is hard because you don't know how much you need. Slow ball, 15 off the Abatova. Five overs bold. Colombo Kings, well placed at 43 for one. Lanka Premier League with Saiti Sir, December Das and Aqua, Saji Viva Narbanda, TV I, News I, Content I, Facebook Saha, YouTube Nalika Banese, Ekatubanda. to do all parts which is unlike Carl Abbott that's not the uh, sort of treatment he's used to Hasaranga has been quite extraordinary with the ball earlier and he picked up an important wicket with the uh, with the bat earlier picked up an important wicket with the ball but that has gone for a boundary first ball of his third over it's my 11 circle champion shot Chandimal showing his intent, is looking to disrupt Balling Side's plans. He's cashing on every opportunity to score some runs. Patting with fluency. His movement is just uh, terrific. He's light on his feet. He's in such good form at the moment. He's not having to think about too much. When you're not in good form, you're thinking about a lot of things. He's just going with the flow. Oh, quick single. He's home. It's good running too. Malik, Malik, Malik. Easy, easy. Hasaranga has been good in this uh, tournament. Struggled a little bit in the power play. And went for a few and then the wicket. Logan. Actually, the Jaffna Stallions should be congratulated for picking him because, as a marquee player, every team picked two foreigners. This was the only team that picked a Sri Lankan. And that was, oh, they're asking the question. That's given. That's another wrong one. Vani to Hasaranga. He's turning it on. for a leg spinner to have such control it's amazing yes he was taken for a few runs in his previous over but he has come back very strongly he's decided not to send it upstairs little chat with his partner and he was thinking about going upstairs but then there's no doubt that Chandama said no that's it you pad first there was a bit of a, a log jam if you like between ball pad and bat 
bat on foot, I think, was the bottom line. Really bowled by Hasaranga again. Finger went up very smartly indeed. That's his second wicket. He is a class act. He really is. Drummond now. He's on his way, 48 for two. Two down. I will keep it a little bit low. Experienced captain Matthews keeps it out. That was his uh, second wicket. Drummond was uh, tempted to challenge the umpire. But Chandimal must have asked him, was there any lick? If there was, you've been caught in the slit. So it's, it's, it's wise that you go back to the pavilion. 50 runs on the board, with two wickets down after six overs. The vice president of Sri Lanka cricket, who is also the tournament director, Ravin Vikaratna. He's present, keeping a close eye on what's going on here. The skipper now to Sara Pereira. He has been a big player in the Sri Lanka Premier League. Doesn't matter whether it's the bat or the ball, he's been taking some blinding catches too. Ball in his hand now, trying to make a difference. Sweeper on the offside. Just a little bit of uh, perspective. 51 for two now for the Colombo Kings at the same stage. Jeff Nostellians are 39 for one. It's been a good start for Colombo Kings. They haven't gone into a shell. They came out, battered with positive frame of mind. They're looking to hit boundaries. And Chandimal is doing, doing it quite well. Two key players for the Kings in the middle of the moment now. Turned apart on Matthews. Andre Russell was the other one. So they're the three guns with the bat with the side. Tassara Pereira would like nothing more than to break this partnership. Better than run a ball for Chandamal right now. He's played really nicely up until this stage. Strike rate of 144. I thought it was a big call. I know Mickey and Russell and the rest discussed it to bowl Vanidu Hasaranga in the power plays. He was under some pressure for sure. What was good about him is that he rose to the challenge and those two wickets. But it's really helped the Japanese Stallions. He's got those vital breakthroughs. Now, Tisada Pereira has impressed Manny with his batting skills in Lanka Premier League. But he hasn't bowled badly. He's been uh, finding those right lengths consistently. What he has decided from the word go, 
that he's going to ball back of the length. And has worked for him. Yeah, the odd ball's just holding on this track as well, so we're going to see a high percentage of slower deliveries for the rest of this game. We certainly saw it at the start. The ball is going to come onto the, the bat a little bit better because the outfield is a little bit on the damn side. You'll see the players, some of the players have got some uh, some rags. De Silva, Russell, Pranjan, the three guys to come. Under Russell will just float around a little bit there. There's the rags just to dry the ball. That means there's Jude. So it will just come onto the bat just a fraction better than earlier in the day. 53 for two, three runs from that over. Just to follow on from what Rasham was saying, so the issue with Hasaranga, of course, is that uh, he's got three. Only got one over up his sleeve for a little bit later. Yes, he's done the damage, picked up two important wickets. That's uh, certainly kept the stallions in the game. Vijay Kant, Vyas Kant. Come on, everyone, Vyas, come on! Patted at number 11, and here is his uh, opportunity with the ball. Oh, yes, Vyas, nice oh, How exciting yes. is this? 18 years of age. This is just sensational stuff. You got a young, talented spinner. I'd like, like to mention his name, Hazy. Vyas Malay! Vijay Kant, Vyas Kant. I started off his spell with confidence. Straight. Yeah away finding the right line and the length he just can't now do uh ball his second delivery Whoa, yes, yes. well done hazy two men back on the square on the offside you come long enough to sri lanka not to yeah, struggle been with... been many times not to struggle years with and years and years love coming here Giving nothing away, his line is absolutely perfect at this stage. Showing a lot of confidence in his skills. We ask Khan. Come, Vyas, come, Vyas. Oh, yes, Vyas. Brilliant, absolutely look, brilliant. Look, 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 look. Interesting to look at where Vanidu Hasaranga is fielding. He generally feels yeah, at yeah, cover, yeah. but he's now placing himself at extra cover. And every ball, yeah, yeah, he would come up to the young leg spinner, have a word just like that, and a lot of encouragement. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is good, it's really great yeah, yeah, to have yeah, someone yeah, like yeah, Hasaranga yeah, yeah. just tutoring him and helping him along. And dry the ball importantly. Obviously, then he must be a bundle of nerves, this youngster. Been watched by millions and uh, at an important stage of the game coming on. So he needs all the help in the world. You might be surprised, you know. Some of these young kids, as soon as they get in the park, as soon as they get the ball in their hands, suddenly it's a different game. Relish the opportunity. Know what they want to do. It's a little bit short and wide. There is protection out there, though. Oh, it's a slight misfield. It does okay in the end. Slippery. Again, an indication of the Jew. That's tidy first up. Six from it. 59 for two. I. Lanka Premier League 2020. Together, Official webcasting partner, Content I Asia.
Lanka Premier League Bissai Visser, December Das and Aqua, Sajay Vibanarbanda, TVI, News I, Content I, Facebook Saha, YouTube Nalika Banese, Ekatubanda. It was a good effort. But the fieldsman, after getting it slapped, recovering quickly, not conceding the boundary. In the air, into the gap, should be a boundary. Kisara Perra has looked the ball short or back of a length to Angelo Matthews. Look to try and get that ball high at about the shoulder of Matthews, who did well, rode the bounce and really rolled his wrist and hit it down. And a boundary off the second ball, the over. That's so important. It's a lovely little challenge, this one. Skipper to skipper. Tries it again, a little bit quicker, perhaps. Interesting to look at the lens fast bowlers would try and bowl at Angelo Matthews at least lately in his career Most bowlers have looked to try and bowl short or back of a length Looked at bowling that high bouncing delivery This era Pereira is doing exactly that. He's having mid off up in the circle not giving him anything to drive Just dragging that length back Good connection that time, just the one bounce, and that scoots away for a boundary. A couple of short balls now. He's put away quite easily. He's becoming predictable. Pereira to the captain, Angelo Matthews. A couple of times he has attempted these pull strokes and he has executed them quite well there he is there's my 11 champion fan my 11 circle champion fan you of course could also have as much fun as that if you download the my 11 circle app and have fun play with the champions Seventh and eight over were quite for Colombo Kings and managed to hit two boundaries in this over. Pressure off. So 81 from 67 balls. That's the bottom line here. Eight wickets in hand. Chatting to himself, Chandamal. It's nicely played. Oh, it's going to be getting wetter and wetter as it goes on this outfield. They'll be drying it up as much as they possibly can in between overs. Nine overs gone. 69 for two. That's a pretty good position. And also time for strategic timeouts. watching TVI. Stay tuned with us. Lanka Premier League Bissai Visser, December Das and Aqua, Sajay Vibanarbanda, TVI, News I, Content I, Facebook Saha, YouTube Nalika Banese, Ekatubanda. Lanka Premier League 2020 Official webcasting partner Content I Asia Ogumi Randi City Ne TVI Samagi Randi City Ne Apat Samagam
Lanka Premier League 2020 Official webcasting partner Content I Asia I'm going to go through a couple of numbers here just to show you how close this is. 69 for two at the moment. The original rate was 7.45. Required right now is 7.3. Six runs adrift at the same stage. That's the uh, advantage to the Colombo Kings. The problem they've got is that Chandler Miles playing really nicely for 38 of 27. They've got to break this partnership and ideally get Chandler Miles. Fierce Kunt is uh, continuing. One, one, one. He's on the leg side. Sweeper in play. Just one. Have a look at uh, both the leg spinners. One is more conventional. Side on, Hasaranga more no, chest on, and that's why you see that uh, front leg braced. Oh, yes, yeah, yes, straight yes. away, there's a there's just a massive difference that uh, that screams at you. Just have a look at uh, the youngster, the 18 year old on the right. If we just come to look at that uh, front leg compared to Hasaranga. Oh, I know that's something Hasaranga is yes. going to work on. Something Hasaranga will need to improve, I think, to get the bounce. I mean, a, a spin is always a leg spinner's best friend. Let's have a look at this one just uh, getting past with some extra bounce. It's a high delivery. That's nicely bowled. But just concentrate on the braced front leg of both of these bowlers in the split screen. Hasaranga on the left. That, that's perfect. Look at the height of release and also the closeness from the to the umpire. The release from uh, VS Kant is really good. Well, he uses his height. Only one thing I would like to see this leg spinner improving as a boundary is being hit. Nicely worked away on the onside. Chandamal has batted beautifully. Hey, yes. My 11 circle champion shot that was hitting against the spin, never easy, but he was in control. Chandima, yeah, just want to mention one thing about this youngster he has to fix his non balling arm, it goes really high, he has to bring it down, it has to be a bit of bend for him to be able to turn the ball sharply it'll be a different bowler after 10 it's 75 for two Five for two, ten overs completed. Balls against runs, 74 of 60. Colombo Kings have been good so far. This is Chaturanga de Silva. Elder brother. Chaturanga de Silva. So they're building their attack around spin at the moment. Seeing young Vijay Vyas can't bowl two overs for 12. Hasaranga opening the bowling. Oh, I think that was on the half ball, just short. Good evening, gentlemen. 
Good evening, Rashan. Interesting to see Spin playing a role, and that youngster has been very, very impressive. It's certainly something for the spinners on this track. We've spoken about what the fast bowlers would get off lengths. But the spinners haven't been easy to get away. That's another look just short on the half volley. Always two quick wickets can really bring back that pressure on the batting side. That's what uh, the Japanese Italians have been looking at. And the other thing they've done well as a bowling combination is the number of dot balls they've bowled. The dumbbell in this over, three dot balls and a single. I think that's right. They're starting to rotate the strike. This is a big partnership in the context of this game. The two experienced players for the Colombo Kings at the wicket, with obviously the marquee under Russell to come. Punched it out to deep long. There's the timing, there's the watch. Jay Ru Dre Russ playing with his watch. Obviously, he needs some good timing in tonight. Well, the dew seemed to be a factor. That's exactly what Angelo Matthews spoke of for the toss. And that's the reason why he opted to bat second. One of the reasons. Excellent last delivery. 77 for two. You are watching TVI. Stay tuned with us. Dinesh Chandimal eyeing up another half century. That's a mile 11 circle champion shot. Chandimal has uh, really led from the front, basically opening the batting, using all his experience. A very close call when he reviewed that LPW. Since then, He's played the kind of innings that the Colombo Kings wanted. Goal, what they should try and do is bat around him now. Well, they lost wickets in the fourth over and the sixth over. And since then, they've consolidated. There's a partnership happening, 33 from 34. No need to panic. The required rate, only eight. And you have two experienced players at the crease, so I expect that Colombo Kings will strengthen their position. They're flying with a lot of energy. Red Bull, drink partner for the My 11 Circle, Lanka Premier League. Oh, yes, Mali. Down the ground, Angelo Matthews. Gets a six, just looking to break free here, and that will be critical for the Colombo Kings. They just don't want to be bogged down with dot balls. And Matthews going over long on. It was a big ask asking the young fella to bowl three in a row here, particularly to these two champion players, the, these two experienced players. They've got his measure now. Angelo yeah. Matthews was always going to attack the over. Yeah. This is high. This is high. And oh, oh, oh well yeah. done. Very well done indeed. Shoaib Malik was outstanding. And Weerskan has got his first wicket. And what a wicket it turns out to be. Angelo Matthews, the captain of Colombo Kings. Shoaib Malik 
had a great presence of mind. It wasn't an easy catch. Just look at how he juggles and finally holds on to it. I tell you what, he turned a tough situation into an easy one in the end. He bobbled it, tapped it back, and it was just the right height for him to get onto the field to complete the catch. How often have we seen this in T20 cricket? Angelo Matthews, the umpires will just uh, double check to ensure that it was a clean catch. That's brilliant. He's inside, completes the catch, and it should be out. Now we can't be touching the outside and making contact with the ball, jumping at the right time, hands uh, pouching the ball. And that's a huge wicket for the youngster. Yeah, big wicket, very big wicket, and we have scanned the man. And the Stallions needed this wicket, chapter Stallions, that is. And Angelo Matthews goes for 22 off 24. 88 for three. Hey. Yeah. Elimalava. <laughs> One ball to go, 88 for three. Andre Russell or Dre Russ as he's called comes out. Vias Kant has been magnificent. He's been hit for a four, a six, but never really panicked. He was good. He's also dangerous. Andre Russell. We know that, we know that. So it's up to the Ascant now. Make it two out of two. Could have been an edge. It wasn't the case. 88 to 3. My 11 circle MVP of the tournament to Sara Pereira, followed by Gunaratna. And this will change as we continue to the tournament. To Sara Pereira might remain there, the form that he's shown. Didn't get off with the bat today. Asuranga. Very good move, very good move indeed. Obviously looking for wickets. 50 for Chandamal. But Jaffna Stallions are looking to dismiss Andre Russell. So they, they definitely, the ace they have to try and do that is Wanidu Hasaranga. Yeah, I think it's a really good move. Wanidu Hasaranga is, is the ace up their sleeve. And the matchup with the leg spinner early to Andre Russell is very good. Dinesh Chandimal, 50 of 36 balls. Very, very good innings. Colombo Kings will be wanting him to go the whole way. A responsible half century. is second in the tournament. His 20th in his career. This is interesting. How would Russell react? So Russell Ranga has, has a straight hit 
He's got a deep mid wicket, long on, long off, and also a deep cover. Hey! Straight away the wrong one. He's going to test Russell. Yes, Gant will remember this wicket for a long time. And that's his first T20 wicket. And it's the big name, Angelo Matthews. The owners are happy. Everyone is happy in this Jaffna Stallions unit for the young man. That's the wicket they wanted. That is exactly what Daphne Stallions wanted. Look at the celebration. They know it's the big wicket. Andre Russell, he's referred it. Where did it pitch? That's the question. And where was it hitting? Well, that's fine. The front foot, but it's the next frame. Let's see. One in the Hasaranga. That's a yeah. I, I, that's a, that's going to be interesting. I think that could be. Oh, could it be clipping? Could it be clipping off stump? You can see the leg stump if you look at uh, the screen to the left. That alone says that there's a strong possibility that that was missing. It's a conventional leg break as well. Wasn't the wrong on? Clipping would be out. In fact, it is missing. So, Russell survives. He survives. That's a big moment. Very big moment in the game. Andre Russell gone here. Colombo Kings would have been in serious trouble. The interesting thing was it forced Andre Russell to do something different. We don't really see Andre Russell come in and sweep. He normally hits straight down the ground. And I wanted there's a, uh, Tesoro Pereira has placed himself directly behind Win Wanindu Hasaranga on the on the boundary, forcing Russell to go square. Easy, easy, easy. It's kept him quiet. Obviously, the plan is to try and see out Wanindu Hasaranga. He's a threat. He's bowled four deliveries now, one single three dots so Russell will try and see him out and just uh, not let any damage happen <laughs> he was charging was a good call just missing that off stump they were quite confident and quite rightly so because just couldn't tell if it was going to clip the stump That tells a story, especially the, the owners, they were disappointed. 89 for three, a good end by Vanidu Hasaranga, just a single, 13 overs gone. Sixty of forty-two, seven wickets standing, but I can tell you it's much tighter than that. The Japanese Italian bowlers have uh, really bowled well, created a lot of pressure. Young Vyaskar. He's been impressive. Bowled a three-over spell. He's come back for his last over. He has been very impressive. I've been impressed with the bounce he's got. He delivers from very high. He's looked very, very dangerous for a young fella. Something to note. When Jaffna Stallions batted at this stage, they were 89 for seven. Colombo Kings, 90 for three. A big golf there and wickets lost. <laughs> Jaffna Stallions lost too many wickets at this stage of the innings. That's why they couldn't 
accelerate and get the target that they wanted when they batted first. So the due factor, due is really, really is an issue for the spinners. <coughs> and we seem to be having that in abandons at the moment. Slip to fire it in at Russell, that's 90. There's, there's that extra bounce again. Beautiful rip on the ball, and that extra bounce is what's deceiving Andre Russell. Again, Hasaranga in the position right behind the bowler on the boundary. Hey! This is very good indeed. Look who's the bowler is, and, and the batsman. He's not overawed at all. He's bowling to one of the most destructive T20 batsmen in the world. And he looks quite comfortable, quite confident yes. with his bowling. A man who has a strike rate of 170 has played dot balls against his youngster. He's been so good. And he's also bowled his four overs in a row, which is very, very rare in 2020 cricket. Been very, very impressive. One for 25. Last ball of his spell now. Needs to finish strong. Just fast point. Oh, it's a good effort, but just uh, can't stop it. Figure spoiled a little bit, but nevertheless, a good return for the youngster. 95 for three, 14 overs gone. Lanka Premier League 2020. Official webcasting partner, Content I Asia. Lanka Premier League Bissai Visa, December Das and Aqua, Saji Viva Narbanda, TV I, News I, Content I, Facebook Saha, YouTube Nalika Banese, Ekatubanda. playing in his first game I love watching the two leg spinners bowling together because they are so different but wow they've bowled really well in tandem Chaturanga de Silva Jack Nostalians will have to find a way for wickets but just can't allow this pair to kick on with the partnership this is that last ball boundary maybe behind point Good effort by the man on the cover boundary, Dananjay De Silva. Timing was perfect. Well, just to remind you that you need to download the My 11 Circle app. If you want to pick your fantasy team, do that. Quite a few options in the My 11 Circle Lanka Premier League. A newcomer, the Askant, might be a good pick in your fantasy team going forward in this My 11 Circle Lanka Premier League. One is the call. Perfect. They'll trot back for two. Mabrishka Fernando on the boundary. Wickets as far as the Colombo. As far as the Jaffna Stallions are concerned, dot balls are not going to help, particularly with Andre Russell there. It will create a bit of pressure, but Russell is the type of player who can release it. So he needs to be dismissed. They need to get through this batting lineup. Yeah, that's the only way the Jaffna Stallions are going to win is, is with yeah. wickets. They need to get yeah, these two out, out, and then that will give them yeah, a little chance. The question is, they've used up one in the Hasaranga. Where's can the other leg spinners done? So what are the bowling options available to the Jaffna Stallions? There is something for the spinners to work with, for sure. 
and it's base off the ball that is providing a bit of an extra challenge for Andre Russell, who likes the ball coming on to him. Pushing him to do something very different to Hovers remaining for Fernando. I think the Stallions have done brilliantly, Mickey Arthur touched on it, to just get Russell back differently. Looking to play shots that is generally not his go to when he's coming. He's looking to sweep and he's not gone for those usual shots that we know he's capable of. Yeah, that's because the field that they've set has forced him to look to score in other areas. They've done it, they've done their homework, have the Jeff Stallions here. 100 for three. The dot ball to end the over. Another good one, just five runs off it. The Colombo Kings down to the last five overs. They need 49. It's 100 for three. I Lanka Premier League 2020. Official webcasting partner, Content I Asia. Obertum Magaher no seal went as a hun. Pahasu Velavat and Arabande, TVI News site. Upper YouTube Nalika, Dekama, Amatakanokara, then subscribe Karana. With the Kyle Abbott, but he got paced in his first over. He came into the lineup today with a couple of guys uh, been rested on the bench. So Fernando has got uh, two to go. His uh, start was really good. Asarunga's Dan Abbott's got three to go. This is engrossing stuff. It's fascinating to see how Jaffna Stallions are still putting up a huge fight. They still believe they can win it from here on. Another wicket. Daily Chandimal's wicket can bring them right on top. Yeah, they got to believe there's a lot of runs. They managed to choke them to a certain extent. Deep in the crease, more towards the offside because bowlers have looked to bowl across him and make him fetch it. So he's adjusted his stance to try and get them to bowl at his body. Here's Bino Rafanando. Slam that away, flat. My goodness gracious me, what about that power? That was brutal. Saw the length and decided in a flash it has to go towards mid wicket and it has to go flat. Swibbling his hips, that's where he got the power from behind that stroke. Well, bowlers were using those wide deliveries and he's made just a slight adjustment which makes it tough to go wider for the bowler. And forces him to come at him. You come at him, he'll smack you like that. Eight days off the week. So let me just uh, remind everybody that his game is purely built on strength. He believes it's all about strength. That's the way he plays. He believes that using a heavy bat is the way to go. And Chris Gale taught him that in uh, 2016. And he believes in batting deep so he can get underneath the ball. Like that. Strength, heavy bat, under the ball, six more runs. This is extra ordinary stuff. He paused. Andre Russell a little. Realized it was a slow delivery and then said it has to go towards long off. 
What power. Subtle change in where he's taking his stance. Now has put the bowlers at his mercy. Two balls ago, the Chaffna Stallions with a good chance. But that chance has disappeared. Just like that. Changing the field squarely again. Another fielder to the deep boundary on the offside. But Binro Fernando, he's got to bowl it into the wicket. He's got to try and get some purchase. Now there's an extraordinary field on the uh, offside. There's a man at uh, right behind the bowler on the fence. And that length gets hammered on the leg side for four. The bowler will not have clarity anymore. Yeah, that picture showing a lot of view. But it came on until this man has decided to swing his bat. The spinners were on, it was a little bit of a struggle. But a little more pace. Just working to the batsman's hands. Both batsmen out there because they use the DR as well. Both given out. But they are cashing in. Dinesh Chandimal, 56 of 40. He was given out in the very first ball. Saved by a visca, a thread. The Colombo Kings, their game to lose from here. Yeah, this has this over has made a huge difference. The run rate was going higher, ascending, and now suddenly, with this power hitting, a couple of sixes and a four, it has uh, come down to seven. I mentioned the due, Tisara Pereira just going up to the umpire and giving him the ball, saying how much it has affected the ball. Maybe it's split. Some of these power shots, maybe he's uh, split the seam, I don't know. He certainly gave it a belt. Don't forget to uh, download that app from my11circle.com. You can play with the champions. You've got to select your side, of course. Make sure you get the best players involved in your team. You can swap it around. You would want this guy, that's for sure. Look at that flat six. That's quite extraordinary. That was just pure power off the back foot. That was amazing. And, of course, that forces the ball to do something different. That was also just dragged on the onside for four. That second six was not... A strong connection. There's a bit of a miss hit. I think you'll find that he would agree with that, Andre Russell. Pereira back in to the circle. Need to have four. Deep point gone out. Around the wicket goes Bin Fernando. Just gonna have to bowl that one again, I'm afraid. Just past that uh, indicator line. Well, low score, the batting not really clicking for the Chaffna Stallions. Probably 15, 20 runs short. They've shown some heart until this over. Where Andre Russell's found his timing, found his range. Straight back past the ball up. There is a man there in that unusual position. It is just a single. Five over game against the Gold Gladiators and Andre Russell came out with only one thing in mind that, that was to swing and he did swing hard that got him some runs that got him the feeling of scoring runs once more you don't have to think you just have to hit five over games enjoyed that he told his teammates after that knock, that little five over game, that he only hit four deliveries in the middle. Was it a worry, Hazy? Was it a worry for him? <laughs> Didn't appear to be. The ball again, chucked to the umpire. Oh, 
there should be a strategic timeout after this ball but uh, since the umpires are looking at it not a bad thing to call it right now he's broken it he's broken that ball he's belted it out of shape he split the seam i reckon that's my call get a new one give that one a rest put it on ice Wait for more balls to be brought out. You can have a whale of a time. Is that? Yala not too far away from here. Maybe. It's right, yeah, it's not too far. It's actually quiet. It's... One day I'm going to get down. I've heard so much about Yala. I'm going to get down there and uh, have a good look. And it seems like an amazing game park. Also, just a reminder about this Cycle Incense Fair Play Award that's going to be awarded at the end of the tournament. The Jaffna Stallions are on top at the moment. This can change. A couple of bit of uh, or a bit of aggression in the middle and lack of respect for players or umpires or whatever goes on in the middle can certainly change that. Combo Kings at the bottom. But that'll be uh, an award given out at the uh, presentation right at the end of this tournament. Right, our last ball, the uh, 16th over. 19 runs from it so far. And that's a good old-fashioned bowler killer, that one. It streamed away for a boundary. End result is 23 runs from the over, 123 for three. I think it's time for everyone just to gather their uh, thoughts a little bit as well. Bowlers can have a bit of a breather because it's time for a strategic timeout. Lanka Premier League 2020 Official webcasting partner Content I Asia You are watching TVI Stay tuned with us Lanka Premier League Visai Visa December Dase Dakwa Sajay Riba Narabanda, TVI, News I, Content I, Facebook Saha, YouTube Nalika Bandese, Ekatubanda. Lanka Premier League 2020 Official webcasting partner Content I Asia Twenty-three runs in that last over, courtesy of Andre Russell, has given them a nice little spurt here. So after 16 overs, the Jaffna Stallions were 101 for seven. 
So that's a 22 run breakaway as we get ready to start the 17th over. Magnificent stuff by Russell. He's arrived there. That's what he does. I'm afraid Fernando is not uh, the first, nor is he going to be the last ball. It's going to be in the receiving end of uh, some brutal stuff from uh, Andre Russell. Pereira sticking with Chaturang with the silver. Two balls for seven. Other bowling options, of course, Kyle Abbott has bowled only one. Binra, he's got another one left, and Tisara himself. All the three seamers have gone for quite a few runs. But we witnessed a wonderful story today. The 18 year old. Oh, hey, hey. Easy, easy, easy. Now to play. New experience, but what really stood out to me was one in the Hasarang that generally feels where the ball goes many times. That's generally in the deep. But when Vijay Khan, yes, Khan was bowling, he was an extra cover. Every ball walking up to him. And that was very good. Trying to encourage, guide, because it is difficult. Oh, that's it. That's it. That was with so effortless, Andre Russell. It's a different planet. He's playing on a different planet. Anything in his range just disappears. Again, he's batting deep in the crease. Again, he gets underneath it. Out of the middle of that heavy bat that's got a big sweet spot, and it just disappears. It's got a range. That was a wide delivery. Not only reaching that, flat batting it over mid off for six. Again, in the air. Is he going to be taken? That's a big wicket. That's a big wicket. Always. Whenever you get rid of Andre Russell, you can celebrate. You can breathe. Uh, Visca Fernando is the man that's taken the catch. Tassara Pereira was pretty quick to get over there because this is massive. It would have been caught a wide if he hadn't chased it. Right at the toe end of the bat, basically. Head up miles in the air. The important thing here was he got underneath it perfectly. Had to make a slight little adjustment at the end. He was jogging off, actually, on that. Russell goes for 32 in no time. 130 for four. So the equation is 19. This is the need. 19 from 20 balls. But 30 balls. When it was 30 balls, they needed 49. So that's the damage he's done. Even though he's got out, could be far too late for the Jaffna Stallions. They have only 19 runs. They still have a set batsman in Dinesh Chadimal who's controlling this inning so well. He continues to do that. Good for now, Mr. Fernando, attacking that. I've got to try and uh, dry up Tandem or try and uh, make sure he gets off strike. Still keep picking away, but who do they go for from the other end? Because Andre Russell burst. 32 off 20. A lot of damage. Yeah, it was uh, disappointing. Oh, yes! 
He was disadvantaged. Eight runs from the over. Six off one shot, so that's tidy. 131 for four. Lanka Premier League 2020 Official webcasting partner Content I Asia And there's a uh, committee meeting there A couple of senior pros getting involved with uh, this conversation Russell has gone now That makes it uh, a little bit easier for one or two of the boys Who won a bowl Good to see they haven't given up as yet. They're still trying hard, and they'll learn a lot about themselves. They'll be better for the experience. They'll understand what they can do, what they're capable of. You learn from your mistakes. If you don't give up, it will be a positive. It's a Pereira. It's got to make decisions. Satranga De Silva has one over remaining. Binro Fernando. This is his last, went for 23 in, in his previous over. That's thanks to Andre Russell. Can he deliver? Can he make a difference here? Chandi Mal's on strike. He's batted really well. Should we pace off with the two men inside the circle? Third man, a fine leg. Can they keep it just to one? They can, so that's good. Chandi Mal's off strike. Chandimal has been very, very impressive. His stoical calm at the crease has been very good for his side. Shadab Jakati, former cricketer, played for Chennai Super Kings in the IPL, a left arm spinner. Part of the Colombo Kings management. So his job is uh, to get Chandamal back on strike. Oh, it's a thin edge. Didn't mean to go there, but he'll bank it. There's the smoke. important it's not about who, how they come by it did excite the captain he thought his baller went through the defenses of the batsman was it free not much you can do dictionary silva enjoying it runs that's all that he cares about Side sneaking through for one. We've got a big game tomorrow, by the way. Just a single game today. Double header tomorrow. It is going to be full on. This is the first one Dumbulla Viking versus the Gold Gladiators. Can the Gold Gladiators get off the bottom? Can they win a game? That's the important question. First up, well, they have hope now. The way things are set, Candy Tuskers played the Colombo Kings in the later game. When the Tuskers lost yesterday, opens it up. And the Gladiators should believe in that. And you think that will spur them on to a better performance? I think I'm right in saying that the Candy Tuskers will be with Dal Stein tomorrow. I think that's correct. He's posting pictures of uh, or photos of himself and videos of himself in quarantine at the moment. Watching the rain go down the other day while he was sitting in his uh, apartment by himself. No doubt, just talking to himself the whole time. That's what Dale does. Hi, right, Dale. Hope you're well. <sighs> Dale Stem will be a huge boost to their confidence. Sure will. They've been lacking a quality bowler in the ranks and with his presence. They might look a different team. 
moment. Colombo King's batsman doing the job. Getting closer and closer. Ten required now. They need a dot ball. It's the idle situation for uh, Pereira and his boys. It's not going to be though. He's played so well, Tandem. 140 for four. So the Colombo Kings can be pleased with a couple of batsmen. Tandemol has been brilliant with his 62 knock down, and also, of course, Andre Russell with that quick fire performance. 22 off the one over really uh, gave them a good kick start. Eight from 12 was now the equation. Correction, eight from 11. He's turning out to be a vital cog, Chandibal. Whenever he bats well, he makes sure his team is on the winning side. He met with a failure against Dembula Viking, and that's where Colombo Kings lost the game. This is actually going to be a big win for the uh, Colombo Kings, sitting at number three in the spot at the uh, table at the moment. To get up against uh, the very highly fancied Jaffna Stallions is uh, going to be a real boost for them. Big swing and a miss. It's ball well, Chaturanga de Silva. And it's low. Good flight. It's been a little bit in it for the bowlers. Unpredictable this pitch. One but. It's a lot different to the pitches we had earlier in the tournament. And that's except, uh, expected. We're playing on one square one venue. Pitches will dry up. Maintaining them will be harder. Do not let the dew worry them either. Okay. Some reprieve for the ballers. Another dot. Seven off eight. Can you tighten it up? Still a good over. Three singles off the five ball from Chaturanga. One for eighteen. His return so far. Oh. Take it to the last over. You just don't know. Just keep hanging in there. That's what the game is about. You have to back the Kings to win from here. But we've seen strange things happen. The left hander has to go <laughs> after the left arm spinner. And he does in the air. Over point. Shift to three. Outstanding commitment, really good fielding. It's a big fella, Fernando. He got pasted all over the place by Andre Russell, but that was a big dive to make sure that that wasn't a boundary. Really good work. They'll surely want to have a look at it, but I think he's done really well. Dixie Lady Silva just heaving it again, edge straight over the slips. Oh, well done. Binura gets rid of it. He saved one run. Good effort from the big fella, as you did mention. Three required. 
146 for four, the Columbo Kings. So it's one hit away, that's all it is. The Colombo Kings need three to win off this last over. At one stage there was Carl Abbott getting ready to bowl the last one. He's only bowled the one over and it went for 15. And then there was a change. Sara Pereira decided, uh, no. He's not going to get uh, Abbott to bowl. He's going to uh, continue with the spin. Yes, yeah, seven overs of seam have gone for 73. 12 overs of spin have gone for 73. To Silver now. A little quicker through the air, sweep on the offside. Oh, goodness gracious me. I wish Fernando you overran it and just stuck a hand out. Great reactions. Great reaction from the fielder. He'll look to finish it off, Dinesh Chandimal. One blow, that's what required. Jekant, Yashkant, debut today, the 18 year old. That's going to be it, I think. That's a boundary. That finishes the game. Really good stuff from the Colombo Kings. That is a big victory. Even though there's been a couple of changes, a couple of boys on the sidelines for the Japanese Stallions, that doesn't matter as far as the Kings are concerned. They'll be really pleased with that. It was one versus three, and there's no doubt that the firepower from the Colombo Kings with the bat is something that the uh, Japanese Stallions would have been a little bit concerned about, and that is exactly what has undone them. Yeah, workman like the next from uh, Chandibal. Played with authority. Was always on the lookout to find boundaries. Found the boundaries at the right times for his side. Made sure he takes his side over the line. Excellent innings. Yeah, he stayed not out. He opened the innings. It was he who played those shots to put the pressure on the bowlers earlier in the innings. But Hazy, for me, it was the Colombo Kings bowlers who did the job. You mentioned. You mentioned Jaffna Stallions had rested a few, but basically they were the bowlers. Their full batting strength was here. And they were hit hard. I thought Angelo Matthews' plans, how he used Dushpanta Chamira and the spinners was outstanding to different players. 148, they thought it's a good score, but certainly the Jaffna Stallions were 15-20 runs short. Good effort, all-round effort from the Kings finding their bowling combinations and how to use them which is a very big plus for them going forward at this stage of the tournament this is a, a real bonus for the Colombo Kings you know the situation I think where uh, around about the halfway mark you're going to find one or two teams that are suddenly going to uh, kick up a gear or two captain is very happy as we look back and reflect on proceedings channel at the top night out on 68 he played really nicely